It is new scenery week galore. Hello. What's going on? Hey, folks. Who fancies another new airport? If one wasn't enough yesterday, who fancies another one? Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Oh, we got a sub straight up. We got two subs straight off the bat. Welshman, hello, my friend. Let me turn down Vampire Weekend. I agree, this is a tune. How are we doing? Thank you very much, Welshman. It's a 43-month sub on Twitch. Welcome back. Hello, much sceneries. Big wow. Uh, I think it is River Visual. Uh, I had a quick look and they were on 1-9. So yes, I think we are River Visual as well today, which I've only ever done once before. And I think they're on the Expressway Visual back here as well. So, yeah, <laughs> it could be a fun one. Welshman, thank you so much, mate. Great to see you. Two years as well for Skyworker. Hello. Thank you very much indeed, Skyworker. Two years. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. We got people on YouTube as well. Hello, YouTube viewers, as well as the Twitchers. Hello, all. Good to see you all. Yeah, th well, I had a quick look earlier and they were on 1-9. Let's have a look again. Yeah, there you go. Look. River visual. River visual, baby. It is. It is, it is, it is. What are the winds? It's variable at four knots. Well, I mean, we'll be doing it anyway. We'll be doing it anyway. Uh, yes, we got some new scenery. Uh, I was not expecting this. This is the second time in two days that I've literally just randomly received some scenery out of nowhere. Um... I'm certainly not complaining, though. It would be great if it was a triple seven out of nowhere. Unfortunately not. Um, do I have the GSX profile? Negative. If you have it, though, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was... Uh, oh, well, I always have my emails up. And I was uh, just working and everything like that. And then suddenly I had an email from Contrail... Um, and it said, here's your purchase order for KLGA. And I was like, what? Uh, and I looked at it and it was a purchase order for the new MK Studios um, LaGuardia. So yeah, uh, to be fair, Michael, it might have just been that I didn't see it or it might have not been somewhere, but amazing. Rev has sent it. Rev, what in the world is your thing? Right, good. We got a GSX profile. Let's get that in. Let's get that in. Thank you very much. So it's two days in a row that I've randomly received scenery without expecting it. Um, which I am certainly not complaining about whatsoever in any capacity. Definitely not. Right. KLGA is in. That is installed. Thank you, Rev. And thank you, Michael, if it's both of your hard work. Amazing. Yeah, well, this is it. If we continue on this streak, uh, as I say, I'm certainly not expecting to have the 777, but... Right, let's do a restart on there. Good, 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 good. How do you install a profile? You literally install it into a folder and then restart GSX. So there's like a... There's a app data roaming virtuali GSX MSFS folder. And that's where you place all of the .ini and .py files. You can see how many I've got. Just a few. Um, And then you restart GSX if you're already in the sim. And that's it. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, as I say, I was working earlier on. Uh, I always have my emails up whenever I'm working. About five email accounts all at once. And I suddenly just saw a ping come through and it was from Contrail and said, your KLGA order purchase. And I was like, what? Um, and it was this scenery from MK Studios. But there was no other information. Nothing. So I was like, okay, they just sent it over. Was this a mistake? Am I allowed to stream it? Am, am I not allowed to stream it? I, I didn't know. Uh, luckily, I reached out to them. I sent them an email and sent them a message on Discord. And they were like, yeah, no embargo. It's coming out tomorrow. Stream it whenever you want. So a big thanks to the very kind team at MK Studios for sending across this uh, new LaGuardia scenery for an exclusive first look on today's live stream here on the Chewy94 channel. Um... So, yeah, I'm super excited because I've never done LaGuardia in MSFS before. I, I don't remember the last time I ever did LaGuardia. It's been many years, many years. 
Um, and uh, this scenery releases tomorrow, so you do not have long to wait for it. So we've got this scenery releasing at 3 p.m. UTC tomorrow afternoon. And then the following day after that, we've got the new Aerosoft Oslo Gardamon scenery releasing. And then apparently it's crossed the pond this weekend, isn't it? So it's all going on. It's all going on. And as Michael rightly says, we've got the new uh, scenery from Rev and Michael for Springfield, which uh, I think we're going to be able to get a chance to have a look at next week as well. So it's all going on. It's all going on. It's, uh, it's busy. It's busy. Um, do you know if it will be directly available from the MSFS marketplace? I don't know. I mean, I, I imagine it will be. I think MK Studio stuff is on the marketplace. I don't know whether it will be available right from the start of this. Like, you know, the, ne the next marketplace update should be on Thursday slash Friday morning, depending on where you are in the world. Um, I don't know if this scenery will be included in that or whether it will follow in subsequent weeks. But uh, But yeah, I will try and keep an eye out for it and see. Um, and yeah, we should be doing the river visual as well today. Uh, I've only ever done the river visual once, um, which is wild to think uh, that I've only ever done the uh, the river visual once before. Um, and earlier on, I was looking and they were doing uh, the expressway visual here into LaGuardia. Again, I've only ever done that once. So... I mean, I'm hoping today's going to be an absolute incredible stream. Uh, who else is incredible? It's Kian with a three-month sub. And we're, apparently we've got Matthias in the chat on YouTube as well. That river video will be so much fun. I, I love it. It's such a fun approach. Kian, thank you. Can we fly 777s into here? Asking for a friend. I, I love the hype over the 777. I love it. I love it. Just everybody is hyping out of their absolute minds about the 777. I think it's going to be PMDG's biggest seller they've ever had. I'm I'm uh, I'm just as excited about it for you guys. As I said, I still do not have it. I still do not have it. I know you're all going to meme and be like, oh, Chewie's got this this week and he's got this this week. Maybe he'll get this as well. This week. I do not know at the moment. I do not know. I've not had anything in my inbox. Um, and of course, even if I do get anything in my inbox, I might not be able to tell you about it as well. Um, but if you want proof, I will show you my app data folder. There is no triple seven still. There is no triple seven still, but you folks know that I'm going to be flying that day and night, day and night when it does, uh, when it does release. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've not, I've not texted Rob for a while. I need to just drop Rob a text and say, hi. Hopefully I'm seeing him in Vegas. Um, but uh, yeah, I know Matthias is very much on the case with all of these people excited to fly the aircraft and uh, the VATSIM event that they're going to be doing as well. So it's busy. It's going to be busy. And it's CTP this weekend. Oh God, there's wild. We want your entire email correspondence with PMDG as proof. Gosh, you, uh, yeah, that would be an interesting one. Uh, Phil, 79 months. I love you. Thank you for these subs, everybody. Goodness me. Jay on YouTube says, just did the River Visual IRL two days ago. Nice. Thank you very much, Phil. You legend. Good to see you, mate. The guy, our guy in the Pacific Northwest. You know I love the Pacific Northwest. I miss it very, very, very much. It's going to feel like it's in reaching distance of me when I go to Vegas in June. Thank you, mate. What's so special about the 777? Uh, it's the 777. That's it, right? That's it. Anyway, enough about the 777 for now. I don't have it. What we do have, though, is this absolute beauty of a scenery. If, uh, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Uh, the very kind team at MK Studios have sent across their yet-to-be-released LaGuardia airport scenery which comes out tomorrow um tomorrow at 3 p.m utc is release time and date for this so you'll be able to do some LaGuardia ops tomorrow for you all but they very kindly sent it across to me early I didn't ask for it early they just sent it across so uh yeah we love to see it let's go and take a look around let's go and have a look oh not before we thank another sub it's Jeremy with 62 months. I'm going to pause the music, actually, because we're going to jump in the sim. Jeremy, thank you very much. 62 months. <laughs> you beauty. Thank you for 62. And it's a tier two as well. It all rhymes. It all freaking rhymes. 62. 
Tier 2 sub, you're a legend. I appreciate you a lot, Jeremy. Thank you so much for that continued support. Um, are you excited for the PMDG secret project being announced in Vegas? Uh, yeah, because I think there were there was like that might have been a thing at FS weekend, but then they moved it to us. I don't. Yeah, I've not even thought about it to be honest. I'm excited though. Um, you can see what the flight that we're doing today is. We'll go and have a look at that a little bit later. Let's concentrate on this scenery first of all. So here it is. This has been hotly anticipated, um, and. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not complaining whatsoever about my first impressions of it. Uh, having seen that new Aerosoft Oslo scenery yesterday, it's going to be like so difficult not to compare like every single scenery to it now. Um, but MK Studios, a very strong name within the flight sim industry, they've been around for many many years creating awesome sceneries, and this is going to be their their latest release. So here it is in all of its glory. Um, I think there are also plans to, you know, like keep it updated and everything. Obviously, LaGuardia, I think, in the real world is expanding and changing and everything. And I think they plan to replicate that as well, which is really cool to see. Um, having a look around, first of all, you can see some of the great detail that we've got. You know, the kind of things that I look out for. Custom texturing and modeling on buildings. Um, custom jetways, custom ground parking locations, which you can see here. We've got some nice ground clutter effects with different vehicles, tow bars and things scattered around. We've got VDGS integration as well, which looks really cool. Um, and those kind of things as well. You can see that we've got all sorts of interior stuff going on, which is pretty sick. Let's just turn down that sim, sorry. Uh, so if we go and kind of have a look inside, here you go. We got some really great detail installed. Oh, I fixed my uh, I fixed my Oslo, and I now have passengers inside the terminals. So when we do Oslo again, uh, we'll actually have passengers in the terminals, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at all of this. It is looks so good. I've been on like a two-day hype. I'm getting a headache because I'm just too hyped about things at the moment. There's just so much stuff going on, so many releases, so many upcoming things. Oh, and if you missed it, uh, MSFS released. We released a new local legend today. A new Dornia, which looks absolutely terrifying to fly, but good fun. Uh, and also a new city update. And there's Friedrichshafen scenery as well for you all now. So if you ever wanted to fly to Friedrichshafen, there's new scenery for it. God, we got a double sub. It's Lucas, 18 months. Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Gregory. You do not need to apologize about that. Lucas, let me grab this one. 18 months, a year and a half. Thank you for your continued support for so long, mate. I love you, buddy. And then Patches is one singular month away from a half a decade mark. Goodness gracious. What's going on? Where's all this coming from? Even Mama Chewie's cheering. There it is. Hello. 59 months. Thank you very much, mate. You are an absolute beauty. And one month away from half a blooming deco deco decade. I can't even speak. I'm that excited. We've also got a third one in a row. Pharmacist. 47 months. It's another person who's only a month away from a strong anniversary. 47 months. One month away from a four-year mark. And a tier one sub. Thank you to the one and only high pharmacist. A very warm welcome back. Goodness me. Yeah, Active Sky, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Right, so, I mean, as you can see, there's a plethora of details that we've got here. Look at the other stuff that we've got over here. So it looks like they're even modeling. I've not even looked at any of this yet. Look at all the details that we've got. We've got Delta-specific stands and all of these kind of things. You can see that it's, like, specific to... You know, like, which operators are using particular terminals and stuff like that. I don't know if there's multiple terminals, but, you know, multiple uh, piers and everything. And you can see all of the interiors and everything like that. And it looks like we've got, like, custom interiors for the different areas. So there's a Delta advert on the wall there. You've got some of the, like, smoke or, I don't know, like, vents and everything like that. There's a Marriott Hotel modeled over there. Oh my god, there's more. Simfun82 is a brand new sub with a prime. Hello there. My goodness me. When is Active Sky coming out? I don't know. I don't know. Unfathomable, this scenery releases tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you, Simfun. A brand new sub joining the crew for the very, very, very first time. A warm welcome back. Um, yeah, I mean, look at all of this. It's, uh, it's bonkers. It's absolutely bonkers, the amount of stuff that they've included in here. And 
Again, if you missed it earlier on, uh, there's a full GSX profile created by the ones, the onlys, Rev and Michael, who are now kind of, I think, uh, community-wide renowned as uh, as our uh, as our normal kind of uh, scenery creators, uh, GSX creators for sceneries and scenery creators. Um, other thing, another thing to note, just really quickly before we go any further with this scenery, I am having issues with photogrammetry right now. I do have it turned on at the moment. However, it does look like we are in a little bit of an apocalypse. I am aware of it. I was debating turning it off. Um, however, it makes the city of New York look very, very, very blocky. Um, I don't know. Should I just turn it off? Should we just turn it off and have a look and see what it looks like? It's really annoying because when I actually get near to the buildings, it's absolutely fine. Um, and I've even like tried to turn on rolling cash to see if it helps. And I even installed some uh, some scenery to like for like a New York cityscape that I found on flightsim.to. Um, but yeah, I'm having the same issue at the moment. Do you think it might be a server issue? I honestly don't know. I've seen a few people reporting it. Um, all I will say at the moment, because obviously I don't want to comment too much, is that I am aware, which means that I have made other people aware. But I don't know if there's been any investigation or anything. Miranda, hey, 15 months. Cheers, thank you. Just why it said it's imminent. Nice. Uh, Miranda, hello. 15, 15, 15. My goodness me. Did you see Steve Ellis's LA earlier? It looked like it. Yeah, well, this is it. If... Guys, if you are having any issues like this, it would help me out so, so much if you could report it on the forums. I know I go on about these things, but the best way for me to get information to the right teams and for people to do the right investigations is if you folks report it to me. If there's a thread that gains lots of traction, you know, like I'm not petitioning people to vote on things, but if you folks are having issues like I am right now with photogrammetry and you're seeing similar results to me right now, I would love for that to be reported on our forums just because it, it you have no idea how much it helps us out. It really, really, really does. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can kind of see like when I'm kind of like getting closer to areas, the photogrammetry kind of sorts itself out. So it doesn't really look too bad when I'm kind of like skirting my way around. Um, I'll be totally open and candid and honest with you. I don't actually know why um, this, is, this is happening. Um, I don't know if it's a local thing that's happening on my end. I don't know if it's like a server thing or something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, however, you know, as I say, if there's quite a collection of people who are having this issue, you know, I can certainly point it in the right direction. Um, you know, there's I can't do anything more than that. I can't promise anything, but I can certainly point it in the right direction. So... I mean, should we leave it on for now or shall I just turn it off? What do we reckon? It The buildings just look like really generic plain buildings when I turn it off. But I don't know. What T-Lod do I have? Uh, I think it's like, I can't remember. It's like 150, 200 or something. Yeah, this is Sim Update 15 better. Be better? Beta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I don't think it's about T-Lod. I don't think it's about T-Lod at all. Hanny's here on YouTube. Hello. I would say it's still worth keeping it on. Yeah, I'd keep it on anyway. Okay, we'll see. I'm having it with T-Lod 302. Yeah, that's it. I've not seen any indications to say that a change in T-Lod is, fa is factoring it in. Lamborghani, good to see you. Approach into Fort Ventura. Well, I'm assuming you're in the sim then, which is good. I've had it since day one. Yeah, I've not, I've not quite seen it this bad. I've not quite seen it. Tried to get a post up in the forum when I got to... Oh, mate, if you could... Just have a look to see if there might be an existing thread. But if you could post like specific examples of things, that'd be great. That'd be great. Cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Perfect. Uh, so another thing to note as well is a comment that Crispy Duck has just made, very, uh, just commented as well. Um, I do not have JFK and uh, Newark active right now. Um, one reason, uh, I genuinely forgot them. I finished work, had food, and then basically just got, in, like, got set up for the stream today. Um, so please forgive me at the fact that I don't have um, Newark and JFK active. If we've got lots of time at the end of the stream today, maybe I could activate them, go and have another look at performance and everything like that and just see. Uh, in terms of FPS right now, though, uh, obviously I lock 
my sim with V-Sync to 60, um, but I am getting around about 76 to, yeah, I'm getting about 75 FPS currently. Um, so I'm not initially seeing any signs of any issues with performance. Um, so yeah, it might change with Drazeki Design Newark and Inibuild's um, JFK installed, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the scenery, just this scenery itself seems to be fine. You're feeling a little bit ill. I'm full of sass today. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done wrong now? What have I done wrong? Yeah, okay, right. We'll leave it on for the moment. And it's easy to turn off. So, yeah. Um, hey, Chewy, I got banned in your Twitch a couple of years ago. Oh, oh dear. Uh, is there in theory a toggleable option? Option. I didn't see anything in the Contrail app to indicate that it's uh, a toggleable thing. God, that's a fun word. Um, but it might well be. It might well be. Um, but I don't know the answer to that. I can try and find out, but I don't know. Um, so, let's go and have a look at what flight we're doing today, shall we? This is what we're doing today. Um, I thought we'd keep it short and sweet uh, with the flights. Um, and fun flights as well. We are doing New York LaGuardia, obviously, to Washington DCA. So we've got the Drazeki Design DCA scenery installed. Um, which, when we were looking a moment ago... Uh, they're using, or they were using, the River Visual. And when I looked at LaGuardia, they're also using the Expressway Visual. So, yeah, look, they're still, they're still definitely on the River Visual in DCA. And at LaGuardia, they were doing the Expressway Visual earlier on. They're using zero for, yeah, they still are. <gasps> So we could have real fun with the approaches today. Uh, there you go. I mean, I might just do them anyway. Even if, like, the runways change or something. If there's no Vatsim ATC and nothing else going on. Um, yeah. I mean, the... Oh, wait. The winds are 310 degrees at 10. So it's not runway 13. Isn't the express... I don't know if this is the expressway. It's, it's this one where they... Well, I don't know if this is specifically called the expressway visual. But, I mean, that looks... Whatever the heck approach that is, it looks fun. It looks fun. So it's a uh, runway 3-1. So, uh, yeah, so that's the flight that we're going to do today. It should only be about 50 minutes flight time either way. So we're going to be busy on these flights. But let's go and get ourselves set up, shall we? Let's go and get things going. Secret Spice here. Hello. Welcome. When is this coming out? So, again, this scenery is releasing tomorrow, everybody. This scenery is coming out tomorrow, which is very exciting. Oh, what's also very exciting is the fact that I need to change our time of departure. There we go. 19 minutes. That's fine. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to mass and balance. Can I just turn up the brightness? Where's the where's the where's the thing? There we go. Oh yeah, and we're on the latest Phoenix update, of course, as well. On top of everything else, we've got the latest Phoenix update. So it's all going on. And I'm just clicking random buttons now. Right, mass and balance. Load aircraft. Load aircraft, GSX. Good. The expressway visual to 3-1. Okay, so it is 3-1. Okay, 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 nice. There we go. My goodness me. Hmm. And I got a good cup of tea, which hasn't gone cold yet. It's a good day. Uh, Jonathan just flew out of White Plains into Boston IRL on YouTube. Nice. It's going to be a great time. Visual approaches everywhere. Heck yeah. Uh, Captain London on YouTube says, are you Intel or AMD? I'm AMD. I am AMD. Right, so... Um, fueling should be doing its thing. That's fine. Let's go and have a look at the flight plan for today. Did I see the mug? This is a Discord partner mug. Are we swimming into Dubai? I've seen some of the videos. Have you seen that Fly Dubai 737 that's literally going for a swim? Can somebody link it if you've got it? There's literally a video of a Fly Dubai 737 going swimming. It's literally entering the 50 meter breaststroke. It's ridiculous. Huh. Look. I mean, it's basically trying to be Michael Phelps. Why? 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 Anyway, uh, flies. Hello. Good to see you, Tom. I've booked everything for Vegas, as has Becca. 
So you're going to get to meet Becca in Vegas, mate, after the disappointment of a couple of months ago. So good to see you. Yay. Are oh, you legend? Thank you so, so, so much to the one and only Tom, a very good friend of the stream. 49 months. It's great to see you, mate. Yeah, both Becca and I are booked up for Vegas. So we'll see you there, mate. We'll see you there. Um, Right. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at the flight. So we're American 1839 today on today, the 16th of April from LaGuardia to DCA in the A320. Uh, November 659 Alpha Whiskey is the reg I've gone with. I don't know what cost index they use. I've just gone with 10. Um, zero fuel weight, 129.8 today. Taking off at 140.7, landing 136.2. Again, rough kind of figures. Uh, we're only cruising at 20,000 feet today. That's as per the real flight. For flight time, about 50 minutes today. Uh, dull, 20 months. Goodness me. <laughs> It is so busy today. Have you thought about upgrading your CPU? I was going to go to the 5800X3D, but I've not done it yet. Well, thank you. Oh. How have I not heard that one before? It's utterly awful, but I would expect nothing different. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers for the 20 months, Del. Great to see you. Great to see you. That makes me even more excited for FS Expo 24. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Coming to DCA from PBI, do you do the return as well? Yes. Yeah, we will do the return. Um, Ghost on YouTube says, what are you going to Vegas for? Flight Sim Expo. You can see the uh, the logo up above. Flight Sim Expo 2024. Right. Fuel. We're taking over two hours worth of fuel. We're actually taking 11.4 tons today. Uh, routing out via Biggie today. It's going to be a LaGuardia 7 departure for Biggie. And then it's a Clipper 3 for the visual uh, River Visual Runway 19 at DCA. So it's going to be a fun one today. Right. Uh, so all of that's coming on board. It looks like the fuel's actually finished. So I'm going to get the seatbelt signs on and then we'll go and set up the aircraft. Joey's here. Good to see you. Not tons. You know what I mean. I'm a Brit. Judge me. Hey, Kyle. Goodness gracious, we've got everybody in today. It is busy. The man, the myth, the legend. Hey, have you seen where I'm streaming right now as well? I, I'm, I'm dual streaming. I'm, I'm raiding your territory. I'm raiding your territory with a, with a cheeky dual stream onto YouTube. Good to see you, mate. It's a LaGuardia party. It is. I don't know. Is LaGuardia a cool place to have a party? It is, it is now, I guess. It is now. What scenery do I have? We're showing off the brand new MK Studios ALGA LaGuardia today. Bubble. Which uh, is publicly releasing tomorrow. So this isn't even out yet in the public realm, but it will be all yours tomorrow from 3 p.m. UTC. Right, let's go and have a look at the weather as well. We're going to do a weather request for here. And then we're going to start to get things set up. For DCA, oh, for DCA, uh, it's Drazeki Design, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So we should have a prelim load sheet and a weather thing. Here it is. So the winds at LaGuardia, 310 degrees at 9, gusting 19. So it's going to be a lovely crosswind departure. Few clouds at 6,000, few at 25, temperature 18, dew point minus 1, and the altimeter is 3013 today. Yeah, Sim says 3012. That's fine. So 3013's in. We'll also show our prelim load sheet here, and we'll go and get some information in. So we are AAL 1839. Cost index, I've just gone with 10. I don't know what they actually use, but it's not a very long flight today. And we're only cruising at 20,000 feet. Zero fuel weight, it's 129.8. And we've got a zero fuel weight. These are just preliminary figures, so they might change. 31.7. And then the block fuel is 11.4. Joining with the queen. Oh, goodness. 
11.4. You better go first then, because otherwise you'll catch us up. <laughs> so we'll accept that prelim load sheet. Great stuff. Departure today, they're departing off runway 04 at LaGuardia at the moment. So it's showing no SID, uh, which I think is absolutely fine. Um, I don't think that's an issue. I'm a little bit worried that that might then... Sh I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do secondary flight plan, copy the active. I'm just going to check something quickly. How do I change that? Secondary flight plan. How do I put this as KLGA instead? There is a way and I'm being an idiot and not remembering it. Do I need to do it KLGA slash KLGA? Ah, that might be a little bit better. That's more so what I'm thinking. Okay, cool. I just wanted to see whether they've actually got procedures here. Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. It's just the SIDs that aren't showing anything. Good. That's fine. Good, 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 good. Right. DCA, uh, we are doing... Let's go and have a look at it. Am I an F1 fan? Not really. Kind of, but not really. Um, We're doing the Clipper 3 via MXE, via Modena today. So let's just get that in. Actually, are we doing the R nav? Cam, hello. We'll put this in. Hey. Nice. Oh, well done, mate. Chat, I will put the RMP in just for now, just as like some visual reference for it, but we still do plan to do the actual river visual. Cam, well done, mate. Congrats, my dude. Brilliant stuff. Very well done. So we'll put RNAV19 in, Clipper 3 via MXE, and then that's via Fergie insert. There we go. Well done, mate. Well done, well done, well done. Hello there. And that's a follow as well. I've turned that back on. Flight Hound, thank you for your follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Good. So let's do a wind request. And we'll grab that in. We'll take a look at the departure. So it's a LaGuardia 7 today. Um, we're on the Bronx climb. Actually, wait. What run, What way did they turn? Yeah, it will be a Bronx climb. So runway 4. Climb on heading 044 to 500 feet. And then a left turn heading 360 degrees. Maintain 5,000 today. So we'll go and stick 5,000 in. And then I don't know if I need to pull heading select here or what, but what we'll do is we'll. I'm just going to stick in 000. I think. We'll just stick it in. Good. There we are. Um, wind uplink has come through, so that's looking really good. And we've also got our final load sheet as well. The only thing that I forgot to do. Uh, as well as I forgot to install a GSX sound pack um, for the airline, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I had a, another busy day at work and uh, was limited in my time to uh, to get everything set up for today's stream, so you'll have to forgive me. Right, we'll sync the final load sheet. Packs on. All of that's good. Calculate. Oh, it's it's not a very long runway. It's giving us flap three, flex sixty, one two nine, one three zero, and one three four. Send to MCDU. So one two nine, one three zero, one three four. Oh, it looks like it uplinks everything now, which is cool. Three down zero point four sixty. Brilliant. So we've got dash dot heading dot. Well, no heading no dot and five thousand into there. Good. Right, I am going to get the APU started. Jetway's disconnected, I think. And then we're heading out to this runway here. So in terms of our pushback, uh, I think we'll most likely go nose to the right. 
and then we'll taxi out from here and then head down this main taxiway there and hear that APU coming online yeah so you can see the different points here so we'll head out via the apron echo and then bravo holding point runway zero four and yeah it's not a very long runway two thousand wow that's cool there's only literally one meters difference between the two runways two one three four and two one three five two feet that's it and there we go it's a very cool little airport LaGuardia it's been so long since I've operated here I don't think they ever perform flaps three departure what do you mean who's they Corey on YouTube, hello, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. AA, oh right, I wouldn't know mate, I wouldn't know. Okay, it's a beautiful clear day here. So, APUs avail, we'll be really boring and stick the bleed on right away and get rid of the external power. And then if we get the beacon light on, that should get GSX into gear. Get the show on the road. And we're rocking and rolling. So you can see that we've got the VDGS thing and everything uh, showing up on here. Nice. Scenery looks really good. Yeah, I'm impressed so far. Performance is great as well. Lots of nice detail. It's typical kind of good quality MK Studio stuff. Going very quick, the display, isn't it? Flew into Manchester from Antalya yesterday. Wow, yeah, I bet. This flight's usually done in a 319, but yeah. I feel like I need to brief this river visual. I've not done it in so long. Good though. Ah, oh, nice, Jake. There you go. There you go. Right, so APU bleed is set. We are ready. And I need to get on CTAF as well, don't I? So, oh, actually, that's a point. Auto ATC is giving us a squawk of 3074. What is going on with that display? There we go, 3074. And then the CTAF, let's go and find that. So dot CTAF KLGA is 1187. Oh my God, I can't see it. I can't see the display. What in the world? Has the brightness gone down on these? I can barely see them. 1187. Right, what's going on with GSX? So, we want nose... Nose right 3B. There we go. So you can see the custom profile that the guys have popped in. So facing south. Right. Good evening, Martin. Hello. Uh, so, uh, LaGuardia traffic, American 1839 stand. Uh, stand. Uh, push and start, nose to the south. <laughs> LaGuardia traffic. <laughs> stand 19. There we go. God. Oh, we got a sub as well. Stand, stand. There it is. Brilliant work. Well done, Chewy. Uh, at attack and SB, SGBL. I'm so sorry if I've just murdered the pronunciation of your name. Thank you so much for the brand new Prime sub. You're probably regretting that with how terribly I just did with that pronunciation. But a very, very, very warm welcome. Thank you for the brand new Prime. I hope you are well. Right, off we go. Let's reset the drone cam.
For those of you flying with, let's make sure that we're communicating on uh, CTAF and everything. Yeah. We go, off we go. Hey, Mitch, then gifting us up to Dylan. Mitch, thank you so much. Another one. Yeah, that's what I've done, Tom. I popped, I popped in the R and Av already into the CDU. Can I literally just use that and just follow the flight director then? If I can just follow the flight director based off of that, but just kind of treat it visually, but use it for some vertical guidance, then amazing. Thank you very much, Mitch. That is the first gifted sub of the day, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you so much for your generosity, mate. Very, very, very kind. And Dylan's back in the crew again. Sig's on YouTube. May you have a safe flight. Thank you, Sig. Neko's here. Good to see you. That's cheating. Not cheating. It's uh, increasing our situational awareness. And if a real pilot's telling me you can do it, I trust them. Oh, look! It's a push-pull! This feels really weird being moved forward. It was really weird. Right, I am going to start number one. Good day, David. How are you doing? CTAF is 1187 here. 1187. If you don't know what the CTAF frequency is for an airport, just go on to vpilot. Type dot CTAF space and then the IKO for the airport. So the CTAF for DCA is 119.1. What? Uh, who was that with the follow? Prankster. Thanks for the follow. Yes, this will have a GSX profile. I've got it installed right now. So this scenery will have a full GSX profile. It does work really well. I used it for the vertical and when time ran to the turn final. Perfect. Right, well, I'm doing that then. I mean, I've already got it programmed in, actually. Sim looks a bit washed out. Uh, I have got NVIDIA filters turned on. You're the first person that's ever said to me it looks washed out. I think they're on as they're supposed to be. Unlocking gear. Yeah, it might just be that you don't like my NVIDIA filters that I've got on. They're quite minor though. Look at the city of New York there in the distance. That looks so cool. Roger. We're going to have to wait for that 787 because I can't go anywhere with them in the way, basically. So they're going to have to go first. Right. Uh, looks like we've got two good engine starts. So, APU bleed off. APU master switch off. Fitted wind shear can go on. Ground spoilers. Mode start switch, mode select switch, flaps three. Trim today is down 0 0.4. And then we've got order rate max. Again, folks, can we make sure that we're using uh, CTAF, please? It's per whoever this person is. Make sure we're using CTAF and everything. Let's try and be good on that today. Um, Right, so I think we are ready for taxi. There is a 748 as well. There they are. And LaGuardia traffic, Delta 364 on the RNAV X ray, 31. This is so cool. Right. Uh, LaGuardia traffic, American 1839, taxiing, holding point, full length runway 04 via the apron, Echo, and Bravo. LaGuardia. Nice. Okay. Right. Taxi light on. Nuno, honestly, LaGuardia it's going to be so much better if you go first. Because otherwise you're just going to have to be so slow to try and stay behind me all throughout the flight. You're going to be so much faster than I am. How many LaGuardias are there? What, as in sceneries? How many are there? C uh, CTAF. Uh, CTAF is basically like if there's an uncontrolled... Airport, it's like the uncontrolled, if there's no ATC, it's like the frequency that people would go on if it's uncontrolled to announce intentions and things. It's basically like a local unicom 
for the uh, the airport. You'll go at eight two or something, mate. I can't even get to eight two. So if you even if you go at eight two, you'll be quicker than me. <laughs> That's my point. Traffic, Delta 364, five mile final, runway 31. LaGuardia traffic. Nice. Do they need to say LaGuardia traffic like Unicom? Yeah, it's always good to do, I guess. So, again, we've got to remember we're out on runway heading 500 feet and then a left turn to the north, and then we'll go from there. Hey, Skip All, it's another sub 39 months. Goodness me. Hey. Thank you for these, everybody. What a legend. 39. Uh, not at this exact second, mate, because we're just taxiing out for departure. Uh, on the TCA side stick, I'm using a minus 20% curve. So it's like the S-shaped curve, where it's minus 20%. Let's hope for no bird strike. Oh my god, that's an interesting view. LaGuardia traffic, uh, Delta 1626 from flight level 370 is now descending via the Milton 4 arrival into LaGuardia. Our nav uh, X ray 31, uh, 15 minutes up. Busy. Busy. Alright, takeoff configs normal. LaGuardia traffic, American 7879, one way deal. <laughs> I, love the, I love the call sign. One, one Bill's on YouTube. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. And LaGuardia traffic, American 1839 after the uh, company 787. We're lining up full length runway 04. We'll uh, hold on the runway for the uh, arriving traffic on 31. Beautiful. So yeah, there is. Oh nice, they're clear. Lovely, great, perfect. So we'll just give it a moment, and we're on our way. There we go. We can see the seven eight seven. Are they going to make it off? Oh, that looks awfully close. Well, they're up in the sky, so I'm assume that went okay. God, this is a very short runway, isn't it? I almost feel like we should just toga it. I almost feel like I should just redo it and get a toga. Should we just, should we just very quickly just force a toga? Yes. Calculate. It's made no difference, but let's do it anyway. Because why not? Alright, there we are. Wait, is that actually sent it? Send to MCDU. There we go, now it has. 129130134, it's still the same. Yeah, it didn't clear the flex temp. Right, okay, so there's the... Is that a 767 that's just come in? Wow. God, look at all this traffic. Okay, let's pause the alert so nobody gets any pesky Twitch ads or anything in the way of the takeoff. And then we'll get this show on the road. I should probably, like, have a strobe light and all of those things on, really, shouldn't I, when I'm on a runway? It's a mi minor thought, though, isn't it? Right. Okay, so lights... We're not doing packs off. So all the lights, that's all good to go there. We are ready to go. LaGuardia traffic, American 1835 departing runway 04, LaGuardia 7 departure Bronx, LaGuardia. Okay, here we go. Let's turn up the sounds. Mantoga SRS runway order thrust blue. Bonk. That crosswind, 100 knots, is really pushing us. 
right sides. They made on into the wind, get rid of the rudders, positive rate gear up. So runway track is correct, 500 feet. There's 500, heading. Well, that was fun. Open climb, thrust climb. See, it looks alright there, doesn't it? It doesn't look too bad. That looks gorgeous. Okay, autopilot in. And then we need to swing it further left. Yeah, so we need to swing it further left to Biggie. Let's go flaps one. Remember, if you take off in flaps three, you don't go flaps two, you go flaps straight to one. So there's flaps one. Sorry, I can't remember what camera view it is. There's Biggie, so we'll just kind of give ourselves a rough intercept heading for that. Speed's coming up still. Keep the climb going. Flap zero. Kyo, good to see you, mate. Hello. That was a sporty departure. I enjoyed that. It's a very English announcement, but hey. <laughs> right, okay. Direct to Big Z. Or Biggie. Lights off. Ground spoilers can be disarmed. And we're only going up to 20,000 today. Look at that view! Oh. I think LaGuardia is my new favorite place. So there's the airport. There's the runway that we just departed from. There's Central Park. So there's JFK over there, if I'm not mistaken. And then we should see Newark, like, ahead of us. Newark will be... There's Newark there. Look at that. That looks insane. Eagles here on YouTube. Hello, how you doing? Yes, Bill, we are doing the river visual today. We're not doing the HUD. We're not going into the Hudson, though. Vortex is here. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you all. Hello, everybody. Right, I'm going to unpause alerts and give a big thanks to Supervisor Dan for the follow. Cheers. Love it. But, I mean, it shows with a departure like that. Like, can you imagine how terrifying that was? Doing that. I don't know if it was runway 04 that they departed off when with the miracle on the Hudson, but you know, can you imagine just blasting off that runway, taking off, and then getting hit, and then having just those seconds to, to you know, decide what to do. Crazy, isn't it? Uh, the only, I'm using an NYC enhancement, but it just adds a few, like, points of interest buildings. It's on flightsim.to. I don't have the Sam scene payware one. Um, it's got, like, 19,000 downloads on flightsim.to. So yeah, it was 04. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? Uh, there's Newark. I don't have the Jazeki Newark installed right now. Sorry, it was just a, again, limited time in between the end of my work day trying to eat food and get set up for today's stream. So you'll have to forgive me on that one. There we are. We're on our way. I still need to start the book. What book? Oh, what? The Miracle on the Hudson book. Oh, I'd like to read that. I'm reading three books at once at the moment. Very interesting. Right, uh, shit, I want the song. Go back. I didn't even know if I meant to do that. Let's go and put a bit of music on. It's not a very long flight, this, as I say. It should only be about 50 minutes or so. 
It's saying 40 minutes, in fact. So, about 1840, yeah, 1845. We are going to be flying back, by the way, everybody. And they are doing a visual approach, the expressway visual, I think, into LaGuardia. So, I'm pretty sure we are going to be doing... Oh, the park visual. Sorry, it's the park visual. This is what we'll be doing for the return. I think we'll probably program in the RNAV GPS X-ray just to give us vertical guidance again. But yeah, we've got the park visual. I don't know if the park visual is the expressway visual. But this is the approach that they were doing in real life. So yeah, we plan to do that. And we've got the and and we're gonna do the river visual before. So we've got. I've literally. It's crazy. I've literally only ever done these two arrivals or approaches once before ever, in over eight years of making content. I've only ever done them both once before. Um. So yeah. So it's great. It's perfect. They use the Arnav X Ray three one as the Arnav equivalent for the part visual. Don't think they issue visual anymore. Got you. Yeah. But we'll pro it's like with the um it's like with the the river visual into uh DCA I've programmed in the RMP uh runway 19 and we'll use that but yeah Hey we got another sub it's Adam hello the one and only bot got ninja is back for 34 months hello mate How are you A very warm welcome. Thank you for 34 months. Goodness gracious me. It's all going on today. It is all going on today. It is busy. Very much appreciate it. If you are tuning in on YouTube as well, hello YouTubers. We're dual streaming nowadays. Both Twitch and YouTube. Which is, uh, I think, quite exciting. And we should be in 1440p on both. On both Twitch and on YouTube, we should be 1440p. Maybe I should even try and do 4K streaming on uh, YouTube. Oh, I should also probably set standard. This is a bop. This is a good song. Right, it's a short flight. I'll take the seatbelt signs out for a little bit. Speed out, start. Can confirm 1440p looks crystal clear. That's what we like. If you just wait, I know, Opsai. I think you'll be waiting a while at this rate. Touch wood. Doing good relaxing after work? Nice, mate. Yeah. This is the way I relax after work, this. Right. Good. So, there we are. Mark Alt Cruz. That's just us as we are. So we're doing an RMP. Let's go and get some weather data in, shall we? And we'll get ourselves set up. Because it's not a very long flight, this. DCA. Oh, they fixed it. We don't need to click back twice anymore on that. That's good. So, DCA, this was issued at 1752 Zulu, so not that long ago. Uh, the wind's 130 degrees, 3 knots. Scattered at 25. Temperature's 22. Lovely. Dew points 5. Altimeter is 3015. Now, we're doing the visual approach, so I'm not going to put in a minima. So we won't put in the minima today. Uh, the runway length is 2,185. So we'll go water rate medium. Has the connection been behaving since V2? Uh, I've had one or two. I had like a thing where my monitors went white a couple of weeks ago. But yeah. Uh, why did I click max? Silly. So uh, water rate medium and we're doing an RNP. So we don't need to put in LS. Now, 
It looks like these are hard restrictions. So Clipper at 12 and Baltimore 250 at 10. Let's just go and double check that. Yeah, Clipper 12, Baltimore 250 at 10. And then going from there, well, we've got Fergie at 3,000. Let's just see if that's actually in. Yeah, Fergie at 3,000. So that will give us some sort of a descent profile. Yeah, and we'll, we might even be able to get to turn in at Meg's and go kind of like Meg's direct Fergie and then go from there. And then I think we're looking good. Uh, the only other thing then to look at is parking. I don't mind if I don't get the exact stand, but Delta 3.7 is where the real one went. So Delta 3.7 is right here in this little cul-de-sac. So we're going to land on 1-9, vacate wherever the hell we vacate, taxi up Juliet, join November, and then it's here, Terminal 2, and up on these spots here. That's the plan. Have you noticed on Thrustmaster's website you can buy the two separate Boeing Yoke and Throttle Quadrant for cheaper than the bundle? Uh, I didn't know that, no. But there you go, you found a great deal. Right, uh, I need to put in Unicom, and then the CTAF for DCA is 11901. I think that's the, I think, honestly, that's actually the most difficult thing about CTAF, is remembering to go to Unicom and then, like, switch over to the next one. Do you know what I mean? Good. So, yeah, we're just chilling. We're chilling for a bit. Yeah, you're all good, Vinyl. You're all good, mate. <laughs> Cactus 1549. Yeah, Becca's got a book about it. I'd like to read that. I'm reading Game of Thrones. I'm reading a book about the English monarchy. Uh, and I'm also reading a military book about Afghanistan as well. I'm reading three separate books on three different topics right now. I don't know. I'm weird like that. When will LJ release? This scenery is releasing tomorrow. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. UTC, I've been informed by MK Studios. It will publicly release, which is super exciting. Yeah, that's a good idea, Rev. I don't know if that's even possible. Apologies for the Dreamliner. You don't need to apologize. You fly whatever you want, mate. BA pilot scheme open today? Yeah, apparently the waiting list is ridiculous. I had a friend who was doing it earlier on and they said that it said that they needed to wait 35 minutes and they were like 1,800th in the queue or something. So, yeah. It's going to be uh, bonkers, I think. You got it submitted? Nice. Oh, well, best of luck. Um, right. Is there anything else we need to do? So, River Visual, we've got all of these. It's basically, we're just going to be almost following this, aren't we? We've got a couple of, like, recommended altitudes and stuff. Which we'll keep a good eye out on. I might move this over to another my other monitor, just to kind of keep an eye out on it, you know, on my other screen. But we'll be able to just follow with the vertical guidance, um from the actual uh, RMP that we've programmed in. Which might seem like cheating, but I mean, I don't think it's cheating if you're actually just using a tool that's there to be used to increase your situational awareness. Yeah, it might be worth us putting some uh, DME things out here. I think the big one for us to just remember is that turn onto final here. This, you know, we should be really turning right when we're over the uh, George Mason Memorial Bridge. And we'll just keep a close eye on things. You've been invited for a BA assessment. Nice. Oh, awesome. If you want to put the White House in on the ND, you can enter P56A in Roman numerals. 
Key 56? What? Can I do it as a fix? Not tempted to apply? Um, No, because I love my jobs that I've got now. I, I don't know if I... I don't think I'd get it, to be honest with you. You put P-L-V-I-A. Oh, really? P-L-V-I-A. Oh, yeah, there it is. What? Do we know what the range ring around it is? Oh, yeah, look. There's P-5-6-A... There's P56B. So if I do PLVIB, that's another one, right? Yeah, don't go east of the river and you'll be fine, yeah. Maybe I'll apply. Go for it. You still working as community manager? Yeah, I have two jobs. I work five days a week as community manager for MSFS and I stream four days a week. I'm not sure B will show. Ah, okay, cool. That's quite cool, though. Oh, shall I try it? PL, PLVIB. Shall I just try it and see if something comes up? PLVIB. No, it doesn't. Damn it! <laughs> Your week has nine days. No, I just work for 14 hours for four of them. <laughs> and eight on the other. Good. Right, top of the descent is in less than 40 nautical miles. So it's not a very long trip, this one. Not a very long trip. The circle is the prohibited airspace above the White House. Yeah, now I know. Oh, excuse my yawn. A short, short hop. That's it. It's a fun hop, though. Definitely a fun hop. Yeah, Nuno, I mean, you're a hundred knots faster than I am. So, <laughs> we'll have to see how it goes. Does the Ine A320 Neo have the pattern with the engines? No, mate, it's just the leaps. Just the leaps. It's a fun hop until you have a 25 minute connection at DCA. Oh god. Uh, now that Tube Lido Tuesdays are over, when are you next planning to stream on the MSFS official channel? So MSFS official channel streams for me are going to be like specialized events now, which I really actually just love the idea of. Um, I really enjoyed doing Tube Lido Tuesdays, but they were quite limiting in the sense of, you know, I only streamed for two hours and, and everything. Um, and it was almost basically just my normal Twitch chat just on the MSFS channel, you know. Um, and so I kind of wanted to try and do something different on the MSFS channel. So, you know, like how we did the, the Toby Eye Tracker live stream a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you know, like we want to do more things like that and maybe some other things as well, um, which we're kind of, you know, talking about. So, uh, it, it, won't, it might not be like a thing where I'm kind of got like a regular scheduled stream on the MSFS official channel, but I'll be... You know, conducting more kind of special event streams and things, which would be awesome. You're having trouble with the Inibuilds A300 ever since the last update. I can't get your sim brief flight plan in the FMC. Oh, um, I don't know. Has anything changed in terms of like sim brief where it's not actually your ID, it's your username or something? Try and change it and see. Ah, Ian is here. Hello, mate. Frosty's here as well. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, we're all well here. How are you, mate? Welcome, welcome. Hello there, tall man Mike. Thanks for the follow. Cheers, Mike. Welcome. You're able to get it in the EFB, but not in the FMC. What's it saying in the FMC? I can see about four Star Wars memorabilia in your webcam alone. Uh, so, yeah, we've got Star Wars. There's disc plates. There's, a real, there's an original bit of Chewbacca hair from A New Hope there. 
We've got the Chewbacca mask. Yeah, you can see quite a bit. Just a few things. How much... How many Star Wars memorabilia have I got in this whole studio? One, two... I'll count that as one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen... 19, 20, 21, but yeah, I mean, probably, I mean, there might be other stuff, but at least 25. I bet I can beat you on Star Wars memorabilia. You could, you can beat people on Grogu memorabilia. Uh, Operator Dirk on YouTube says, hey, Chewy, what are your PC specs? Uh, they're on my website, chewy94.co.uk. So if you just type in on your browser, chewy94.co.uk, you'll see all of the uh, all of the all my PC specs. But I have an AMD 5950X, RTX 4090. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Drazkal for the follow on Twitch. Thank you. You got a whole room with Star Wars stuff? Oh, yeah. Just doing a little hop from ENGM to ENBO. Oh, that's literally what we did yesterday, of course. There we go. Very nice. I don't know if Phantom Menace is releasing in cinemas again here in the UK. I know Phantom Menace is releasing again in the cinema in America. Does anybody know? Anybody who's from the UK? Anybody know if the Phantom Menace is coming out again in cinema? Because that was the first film I ever saw in a cinema. So, yeah. Do you always play with the frame gen mods? Uh, Operator Dirt, the 4090 has frame generation native to it, so I don't need to use any mods or anything like that. Hey, Crow, 85 months. Thank you very much, mate. 85 long months. My goodness me. That is a long time. That is a long time. Oh, man, that's crazy. I hope we get there. Was orange, but sounds like a parrot. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's playing in a cinema very near to me. Is it actually? Like, genuinely. 3rd of May till the 9th of May. Oh, my God. If it is, I'm going to cry with excitement. Hello there. Who's that with a follow? It's uh, CXXQEE. Hello. Right. Uh, we are 23 minutes into the flight and there's top of the scent. Brilliant. And uh, Iutsuku, thanks for the follow. A screenshot. Thank you. My, uh, yeah, my first, uh, my first film was at the age of four, Phantom Menace. Can you imagine a four-year-old me sat there when Duel of the Fates came on? Darth Maul with the... I mean, I've literally got a Darth Maul shrine in my studio. He was my first film bad guy. Double-bladed uh, double bladed lightsaber, Duel of the Fates. I mean, that was it. I was sold. It was sold. I'll go with you if we can find childcare. I'm away that weekend at SimFest event, don't forget, babe. Which you're more than welcome to come to, but I am away that weekend at a SimFest event. But, I mean, I can always come back on the Sunday and we could uh, maybe maybe do it. How excited were you? I'd have to ask Mama Chewy to see if she remembers. But I, I specifically remember us being sat in the first row and, uh, the you know, the the fanfare came on and it scared the absolute crap out of me. So we had to move like three or four rows back but yeah sim the next sim fest event is star wars themed it's it's may the 4th be with you themed the next star wars event uh, sorry the next sim fest event and that's on that weekend so yeah maybe the monday if that's viable with work well i'll be working and then streaming but yeah we could maybe do it on sunday evening or something Have you heard the rumours Daisy Ridley is coming back as Rey? What do you mean rumours? She literally appeared on stage. <laughs> She's literally appeared on stage with the announcement. There's no rumours of it. 
Right, I'm going to turn the music off, chat, because we've not actually got that long to go. They literally announced, like, the next three films, or, like, you know, like, the theme of them, and Daisy Ridley came out on stage. So there, there's no rumour of it. <laughs> Alright, see what signs on. There we go. Good. Monday's an important stream. Can't skip that one. No, I'm not talking about that Monday. I'm talking about another Monday. You're a bit behind Star Wars, it seems. Yeah! It says error down... What says error downloading? Da oh, the A300? Um, I don't know. Have you tried typing in the waypoints manually to see if there's a discrepancy in there? Captain X Country! KLGA looks great! Thanks! My pleasure! We are going to be flying back there, folks. Fear not, we are going to be flying back. Did you all see Dubai's weather today? I don't know if I've still got the video up. Oh no, I've turned it down now. But yeah, the video of the uh, Fly Dubai 737 trying to become the next Michael Phelps. The only th Star Wars thing I want at the moment is Andor Season 2. So, very good friend of mine who I hadn't seen for approaching 10 years. Uh, we had a bit of a Christmas meetup at the end of last year, and uh, he's a film colour uh, artist. You know, he, he does colour colour artist things for TV and film. And uh, and you know, I chatted to him. and I said, "Hey, it's it's been so long. How are you doing? You know, how's work at the moment?" He's like, "Yeah, really good at the moment. I'm just doing all the colour art for Andor season two. And I just sat there. I didn't even say anything. You know, just the 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 level of uh, the level of jealousy was through the roof. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you use the display sync option in the Phoenix? Uh, I don't think so. That's a cool job to have, I know. I know, I know, I know. Right, so we're approaching Clipper at 12,000, and then we've got 20 nautical miles to descend 2,000 feet. Nice. I think your favourite of the Star Wars series has to be Ahsoka. No, my, mine's Kenobi. Easy. Kenobi, for me, was like, I don't know, an experience... I don't think I'll ever be able to get over. Especially when Qui-Gon appeared at the end. I mean... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, babe. That's, that's really kind of you. A guy I used to work with at Tesco got spotted at Comic-Con for his cosplay. He now works at ILM. Holy crap. That's wild. The first scene in Kenobi. I mean, I've not got any tattoos, but genuinely, if I was ever... I know it's kind of a generic thing now, but if I was ever going to get a tattoo, I would... Like, one of my top three choices would be the... The shot of Anakin slash Darth Vader in, uh, in Kenobi, where he's got, like, the half-ripped face and the red lightsaber, you know, like, glowing... That was one of the coolest freaking things I've ever seen. And if you folks want to like a behind the scenes, um, it was, uh, you know, Adam from Mythbusters. He uh, went behind the scenes and had a look at the prop makers for it and how they did it. And like the level of detail they've gone into on that thing is unreal. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Aviator, you do need to be a subscriber to do a song request, mate. Rebels TV, yeah, 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 yeah. Loved Kenobi as a major Vader fan. I couldn't help it. Ahsoka would be next to me, yeah. Oh, I might have to rewatch Kenobi now. Coming up for Top of Descent, I'll be back with you. No worries, Frosty. Tarek's here, Ben's here as well. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all. Captain X Country on YouTube says, when is any builds going to you a Millennium Falcon? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? If somebody released... I think there is like a flyable Millennium Falcon on FlightSim.to or something, isn't there? 
I don't think I've seen a cloud in the sky, by the way, today. The weather is unreal. Absolutely unreal. So what we're going to do now is when we get to the Baltimore VOR, we're just going to descend on open descent down to 3,000 for Fergie. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and then we'll go like so. We'll configure... I don't know. I probably want to be fully configured before setup, I think. Because it's 1,500 feet, and I just want to be concentrating on flying without any distractions there. Twenty nautical miles to descend 2,000 feet. Gotta love it. You completely forgot about Kenobi? Ah, oh, just yeah. Nothing, nothing beats that for me, series-wise. Something about it. Just something about it. FS Expo is going to be great. I am so excited. Who wants to go to FS Expo but hasn't booked their tickets yet? Because if so, there is a registration link down in the description. Just click the FS Expo logo at the top of the description in Twitch. And uh, there's a link to registration. I don't get any money or anything for it, but it's just there if you do want to use it as a referral code. I'm so excited for the event. So excited. Seeing you and McGregor back as Kenobi was great. Yeah. Haven't booked mine yet and probably won't until a couple of weeks before. Ugh. Leaving it to chance. You're waiting for your tax return to get the ticket. Fair. Will you be there for work or just pleasure? Uh, I'll be totally honest and candid with you. I actually don't know at the moment, but I'll be there either way. I actually don't know. Even if I am there for work, I won't be working the whole day, both days. So, you know, like... You know, I'll still be able to go and have a good look around the event and things like that. Right, let's go. Open descent down to 3,000. 10,000. Lights on. Good. That works really nicely if it says we're going to reach 10,000 there. Uh, 3,000 there, even. I almost wonder if I can actually keep it in managed. Looks like I can. Right, we'll keep it in managed for the moment. Have you watched the new Percy Jackson? No, I haven't, mate. There's an Airbus Beluga Squawking 7700. Oh, God. I have to wait and see if I can afford it once I'm back from Australia. Nice. Becca's going to have an autograph station set up ready. So everybody uh, can go and ask Becca for autographs. Please go and ask Becca for autographs. Please, please. A song request muted by any chance? I always turn off song requests, kind of like when we're in the descent and approach and everything. Yeah, I've turned them off for now. Flight tickets will be higher two weeks before. Yeah. How am I liking the MK LaGuardia so far? Jeff, it's awesome. It's, uh, it's awesome. Didn't realise we were all in the set. One short flight. Yeah, we've only been airborne 34 minutes and we're through uh, 8,800 feet. So we're not messing around. I am tempted to go like Meg's direct Fergie. Let me just have a look on the plan page to see if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I'm going to put that in because the other traffic should be out the way by then. So let's delete you and delete you and delete you in fact and delete you insert now it says that we're high on the profile the only thing here is that the 787 
ahead of us. Actually, no, it looks like they're turning now, so we'll be fine. We've got loads of room. So that now says that we're about 500 feet above profile. But we've got 30 miles, so we've got plenty of time. Stuck out, stick out a little bit of speed brake just to help it. Have you ever been to Vegas before? Yeah, Vegas was the first ever place I went in the USA. The Flight Sim Expo 2018. Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747. So yeah, I have indeed been to Vegas before. Yeah, you can get a Chewbacca autograph. Please, please, please ask her for an autograph. It would be so funny. Right, down we go. Down we go. So we can see the 787 ahead of us is going down the river. Should be able to see some of the landmarks. I don't know what the scenery is going to be like down there. I don't even think I've got photogrammetry going down there at the moment. There's the Eiffel Tower. And there's the Arc de Triomphe. And there's Buckingham Palace. Perfect. Good, it's all loaded in. Just offended every single American in my chat. Brilliant. Well done, Matt. You went in 2019, got food poisoning from the hotel restaurant. Oh, God. Lovely. Right, I'm going to switch to the CTAF frequency. DCA traffic, American 1835 inbound Megs for the uh, uh, River Visual Runway 19 will report to overhead Fergie. And what we're also going to do is we are going to activate approach mode. Activate approach on there. So we've got app nav. How's the LGA scenery? Yeah, really nice, mate. Really nice. You'd love to visit DC? Yeah, me and Becca really want to go to DC. Right, so there's the early turnover megs. We want to be 210 knots at Fergie. I don't know if we're going to reach it. So I might just again use a touch of speed brake. Nando's are there. That doesn't sell me. I hate Nando's. Overpriced dry chicken. Right, flaps one. What's the go around? 3,000. Looking good. <laughs> You're waving. Hey, nice. I prefer dry chicken. At least it's been cooked enough. Oh, well, it's either dry chicken or something that hasn't been cooked enough at Nando's. It's either one way or the other. So I've got... Is it max 200 knots here? It's fine. I'm just going to leave it at S speed. ECA traffic, American 1839 overhead Fergie for the uh, River Visual Runway 19er. ECA. Uh, Lucas, I don't know yet. I'm kind of, you know, waiting to see more and everything first. I feel like the bridges and stuff aren't installed, but hey, this is why we've got the RNAV in just in case. V Pilots here. Hello. Good to see you, mate. Do is I'm going to whack that over there. 2,500. Checked. 
Hey, perhaps two. Right, I need to pause the alerts. There we go. Alerts are paused. We'll go get down. Laps three. No, laps three, thank you. There we go. And flaps full. What's going on with the scenery? It kind of looks like things aren't like I've not got proper things loaded in. I can see the airport scenery is there though. Right, flaps for landing, no blue. Lights should all be on. Yep, we're good. Here we go. Let's just keep left here. One thousand. Yep, yeah, stable. That flight director is not doing me any favours. Touch low. Approach, yeah. The winds are coming directly on the nose now. Five hundred. Here's the tricky part. Nice and steady, does it? No need to rush the turn and go with crazy bank angles. Keep the nose coming down, touch high. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Spoilers. Reverse screen, getting a little bit wobbly with the winds. Keep it in the centre. And your brakes. All right, idle. There we go. Welcome down. Beautiful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to DCA. I'll take that. Not too bad. Not too bad. That was the second ever time I've done the river visual, and uh, it was definitely better than my first attempt. There we are. Right. Oh, that was so much fun. And we've still got the parkway visual to do into LaGuardia left today. So we're not finished yet. Beautiful. Hope you all enjoyed that one, folks. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Well, let's just see where we are. Yes, we do want to take this left here. Sorry, this right here, even. To clean up the aircraft. DCA traffic, American 1839, crossing runway 0422 at Juliet, taxiing to the apron. Okay, I'll leave that on for the moment. And then we will go get you turned off and you turned off. Very nice. Happy with that. On a 45 minute flight. Yeah, this is Drozeki design scenery for DCA. It's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's their best. It's not too bad. So we wanted Delta 37 today. It looks like I've not got that as an option. Which is typical. So what am I going to pick instead? That's the question. Uh, 
Uh, well, I'd like to do like 39 or 41. Okay, we'll go 41 then. And American Airlines. Right, strobe lights off, runway turn-offs off. We're going to get the APU started. It's not going to take us long to go. We'll be joining for the return. Nice. What did we think of that then? Was that all right? Those of you who are uh, experts at the river visual, Grissom on YouTube says round of applause. Well done. Thank you. I will unpause the alerts now on Twitch as well. I think it was okay. Probably things I could have improved on, but we'll take it all the same. Darren's on YouTube even from Hearts. Hello. Good work, but an early turn to final. I think you wanted to turn earlier than the bridge, right? That's what I thought you wanted to do. Just means you're not then scrambling with a crazy bank angle at the end. Talk of scrambling. Let's see if this 747 gets in. Come on, Nuno. Here you go. Oh, bang! Uh, yeah, that's a positive landing. <laughs> We'll call that one a positive landing. Well done. I mean, he's he's there. He's arrived. <laughs> a little early on the turn, but very good vertical control and touchdown. It's so much easier having that RMP in there. We'll do it next time or we'll do a later turn. I think I kind of brought myself out a little bit further to the... I don't know. Maybe I brought myself a little bit out further to the left and I turned in earlier. I don't think I overshot anything that I wasn't supposed to, right? Okay. Uh, good. APU's available. I haven't timed three minutes for the engine to shut down or anything. That's fine. And then we are just this stand up here. Ah, it's always good to be critical. Always things we can improve on. So next time we know not to turn quite as early on that specific one. Of course there's a static model here. On the stand that we wanted. There always is. There always is. As I say, folks, we will be flying back to LaGuardia. We are going to be doing the uh, Parkway visual, I think it is. The RNP X-ray for 3-1, which is a another absolute stunning turn on to final. I think more difficult than uh, that one, for sure. Okay, right. Stop there. APU's available. I'm going to stick it onto the bleed. And we'll go and shut things down. Shut down engine number one. Shut down engine number two. There we go. Literally not seeing the cloud in the sky. Alex is on YouTube. Yo, this is my first Chewy streamer you ever get to watch live. Hey, well, welcome. Can't wait for the A319 teams. A lot of them flying to LGA. Electrox says on YouTube as well. Yes, I think it's uh, I think it's a popular one. Okay, let's request deboarding. Seatbelt signs can go off as well. 2,000 on to there. That can go about 58 minute, 59 minute block time. Gaz is, uh, Gav is here. Sorry. Hello, Gav. How you doing? Dinner time. Lots of fun. There you go, Nuno. Well done, mate. Good effort. Right, Eternal power. APU bleed off. APU master switch off then, I guess. And we are good. There we are. Epic. That was fun, wasn't it? What do you think about this? Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, the... Star Wars Cloud City. Yes, well. <laughs> I got really confused earlier on. I was on YouTube and uh, I was uh, and I was just scrolling through and I suddenly saw something and I was absolutely terrified. Uh, I thought it was playing somebody playing truck sim in MSFS because it was just the thumbnail was a truck. Like the inside cab of a truck with the wing mirror. And I was like, but they're in MSFS. They're playing truck sim in MSFS. They've linked the two sims. And I was like, what the heck is this? Clicked on it. And it was an 11 hour and 44 minute live stream on YouTube 
of somebody literally driving in MSFS. They'd got some sort of like a truck thing and they were literally just driving around the roads in MSFS for 11 hours and 44 minutes. I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely gobsmacked. I, I, I didn't know what to do, but there we go. Um, right, let's go and have a look at Volanta, shall we? There we are. So, it was the uh, LaGuardia 7 departure with the Bronx turn. Look, there is the Bronx. Uh, I just think of Newsies whenever I say the Bronx. Um, if you've seen it, you'll know. And then the turn right over near Newark. And en route to Big E. And then there's our turn. So, we turned in for the River Visual a little bit earlier. But you can see we were fine. You guys say I turned in a little early. I don't know. Valenta says we were okay. I think that looks like quite a smooth turn. There was no overshooting going on there. I think that was okay. And for those of you who care about that kind of thing, center line just a touch off to the right, maybe with a slight five knot wind coming in at 50 degrees, but it looks all right with the center line. There's the main marker, so we were nicely in the zone. Landing rate 158, G Force 1.01. We take those. We take those. The idea is to keep the airplane over the river through the turn and only cross the land on short final. God, you got you, got you, got you. So maybe I could have taken this a little bit further out and then made the turn like here. And then, yeah, I got you. Got you. Always favor improving. But there we go. Cool. So uh, as I say, the plan is to fly back. Fear not, we will do. However, the cup of tea that I had at the start of the stream has made me need to go and visit the restroom. So I'm going to go and have a pee, and then I will be back in just a few moments, and we will go and get ourselves set up with the uh, return trip. So if you do need to go and grab yourself a drink or anything yourselves, or have a bathroom break, now is the time, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. It is warm in the studio today. Right. Okay, uh, let's go and get set up for the return. So the call sign's the same. So I don't need to change anything there. Wish I could join you, but I have a guy could... Yeah, no worries. No worries, Tom. Not a problem. Right, so DCA to LaGuardia for the way back. Don't need to change the title of the stream. Uh, we just need to go and do the flight plan. So let's head to Simbrief. 
and we'll also go and get the real world root and everything. So KDCA to KLGA and we're going as 1839. Supposed to be here an hour ago. Typical, isn't it? We're out on the Doctor 5. Although I don't know if the Doctor 5 is for 1-9, so we'll see. Let's see. They're still using 3-1 at LaGuardia. Let's see at DCA. Yeah, they're still using 1-9s. This is so cool. Okay, so KDCA to KLGA. It's almost 1900 Zulu, so let's go with it like 1920 departure. All of that's the same. That's fine. What altitude did they go to? Oh, I've just realized this trip actually went in the return. Oh my God, look at that for a route. This flight actually uh, did it the other way around. They went to 21,000 on the way back. So they started at DCA, went to LaGuardia, and then went back. But yeah. So 1, 9, and 3, 1. Yeah, that's correct. That's fine. That's all good. 21,000. Let's just change that to auto generate. What's that routing? Well, it'll be to get away from other airspace, won't it? So about 45 minute flight time on the way back as well, everybody. Which is great. We will just be doing these two flights today. But, oh yeah, if you missed the news earlier on, um, I originally was only going to be streaming Monday, Tuesday and Thursday this week, but I'm now streaming Friday as well. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday streams this week. So basically a normal stream week. What the heck is this? What the fuck is somebody requested? I am a I am officially offended. Officially offended. Like it's official. It's absolutely official. How dare you? <laughs> what was that? Don't skip. Tough. Tough. I don't listen to that. Put it back. Oh, you all going to get annoyed at me. Oh, two. I can't now. It's gone. You'll just have to listen to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, what was I going to say? Can you do a recreation of your reaction to Roblox? Oh, God, that was... Yes, I've I've seen that. Uh, right, what was I going to do? Uh, DCA to New York. I've not got anything on auto ATC, so... Yeah. Let's go flights. Unload. Import from Simbrief. That's loaded in. That's loaded in. It should be filed on that sim. I'll double check it though before I do anything else. Yeah, it's filed. Good. Uh, right. I think in that case, then we are ready to go. I don't know why that lags. I don't know why that lags. I do apologize. Right. Sorry, I did not mean to mute it that quick. I do need to find like alternative audio things for my stream PC. I need to have a faff with some stuff sometime. Anyway, right. Sorry. Hello, flights. Uh, so as I say, it's exactly the same call sign for the way back. Um, American 1839. So we'll go and get ourselves set up and get this show on the road. So let's just go and get rid of the clocks first. Oh, crap. Can I do a D-board now thing? Or do I have to reset it? We did it with GSX. Oh, I think it's already done it. I think it's good. Nice. Oh, that says D-boarding. Can I reset it? Reset all. There we go. Now we're good. Right. DCA to LGA. Mass and balance. Load aircraft. 
like so. There we are. That's going to do its thing. That's like loading in fuel right away. Is that not doing it by GSX? Oh, that's cargo stuff. So it's putting in fuel as well. Is it not calling GSX fueling? I thought it did that. Can I reset this? Sorry. Right. Tap to import from this. There. Oh, I hit fast load, did I? Load aircraft. No, I did GSX. Uh, oh. Wait, what? Oh. Is there no, like... Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm an idiot. GSX. Sorry, chat. Right. Okay, now it should do it. There we are. Sorry, my fault. How do you request a song? You need to be a subscriber, I'm afraid. Sorry, 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 sorry. Right, good. So that's now doing its job. Um, and we're actually going to have a look at the flight plan on Navigraph, just because I can highlight things a lot easier on there. So, again, same call sign. 1839 on today the 16th. Add a DCA back to LJ in the A320, November 659 Alpha Whiskey. Zero fuel weight, 124.3. Takeoff weight's 134.9. Landing at 130.8. No concerns there. Cruising flight level 210 today for a 45 minute flight time. Using about 4,000 pounds of fuel. So we're going to take over 11. So loads today, which is great. Rooting out via runway 19 on the Doctor 5 departure to Agard. And then the Speak transition for the Proud 2. And an awesome runway 31 approach into LaGuardia is what awaits us, which I'm very excited about. Nate, good to see you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So that's what we should be loading into the aircraft right now with fuel and everything as well. Um, we're also going to take a look at the weather see if anything's changed there so let's go and have a look at the atsu ian mode activated what does that even mean adca adca right so we've got the arrival message and we have two load sheets. We'll go with the most recent one. Which we'll have a look at in a moment. And then we've got the weather data. So 1506. Altimeter's now 3014. So that eight. And that's still 1021. So the standby can stay as it is. Lovely. So we'll go into the init page and do an init request for the return. Flight number 1839. Cast index, I'm going with 10. Cruising only at flight level 210 for this. So 124.3. Uh, really? 124.3 and 31.2. These are just preliminary figures. They might change. And we'll accept that. And then we should be taking on fuel now by the looks of it. Yeah, if we're going to look out the window. There we go. Gary and the crew. Got the generic music coming in. Uh, but I think it was about 11,000, right? Uh, yeah, 11.1 .1 is what we should be expecting today. Sorry that I haven't got a, uh, a sound pack for the Phoenix for this aircraft, for the airline. So DCA departing 19 on a Doctor 5 to Agard. And then DCA, we are arriving on an Arnav X ray runway 31 on the Proud 2 via or via Speak. Um, which is going to be there and then to approach here we've got proud and then what do we do so this is the procedure the oh no, no not that one that one 
So that takes us in via Pachu. See inset for routing to Pachu. Well, I can't see how. Oh, it's literally there. Proud literally just go to Pachu. Perfect. No, we don't want Varaz. Varaz is going to be down here, isn't it? I think we just leave it, don't we? Because if it all commences at Pachu, that should be fine. Let's insert it and see. Yeah, there you go. So we literally just go proud direct Pachu. That's it. Where am I going? There we go. There we go. That's it. That's we need to do. Some of these waypoint names. We've got the hamburger waypoint. So the departure, we're out on the dock to five. So it's straight out until 515 feet. Left turn to Levy. Then Fimble, max 230 knots above 1500. Left hand turn to Motbeer. Giddy up. God, these names. Hamburger, Doctor, where we need to be above 5,000. I think we will be by that point. And then a guard today. Top altitude is also 5,000 for this. So we'll stick five in there. Greg is the transition. Yeah, we're going to go and get some sausage rolls on our approach. Why not, hey? Why not? Good routing's in. We're going to do a route request. Are we going to pass by the Houses of Par Parliament? Yes. Uh, good. So that's looking fine and dandy there. How's my day been? Yeah, it's been good so far. Thank you, Kiku. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. It's been busy. Lots going on, but it's been good. 26 degrees at midnight. Ugh. Yuck. Okay, so departure performance, DCA runway, that was fine. Oh, let's do another one because it was so fun earlier. We'll go with the prelim stuff here. Calculate. 119, 123, and 123. Is it a shorter runway? I actually don't know. And we'll send that to the MCDU. Into there. 119, 123, 123, 18. That's very good. So now we should have dash dot, dash dot, altitude dot into there. Looks like the uh, uh, fueling's complete. So we'll stick the seatbelt signs on. And then we just need to wait for the baggage and things now. Uh, Murdiff Legend. Hello, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 7-Eleven. I don't think I've ever been to a 7-Eleven. I don't think I have. You're new to the Twitch world. Can you give me which overlay you are using for the flight info? So the actual, like, graphics itself are all completely custom made for my channel. Um, in terms of the, like, information of where I get my ground speed and altitude and things, um, there's a couple of bits of things that are involved. So um, you can get softwares that will do it for you, like flight trackers, such as Volanta, will have their own overlays that you can use on your stream. And it will automatically show all the data. So that's nice and easy. If you kind of want to do it custom, like I've done it myself, um, I use a software called Fly Live, which takes data from the sim and then puts it into a dot text file. And then I upload that or like have that dot text file in my OBS. But yeah, there's uh, there's other there's other ways of doing it. There's a a great software called Volanta and they've literally got like overlays that you can use and if you're tracking your flight with Volanta it will come up with all the details like ground speed and altitude and stuff for you so you don't have to think about it yeah fly live is the one that I use driving under the wing that's a no-no <laughs> only reason to go is for a slurpee I don't think I've ever had a slurpee either just think of a song by, um, oh my god, why have I forgotten her name? Oh my god, that's going to really annoy me. That's going to really annoy me if I can't think of who it is. It is... Uh, 
Lizzie McAlpine. There's a song by Lizzie McAlpine to do with uh, to do with Seven Elevens. Oh yeah, Becca. Heather's is also going back to the West End as well. Going on tour and then it's going to the West End again. Right, so uh, we are basically waiting for the baggage loading to complete and then we'll get the APU going. Um, we'll just have a quick look at the taxi as well. So we're parked on the area here. I don't know whether we can push back to face north or whether we have to go into the cul-de-sac. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, either way, we'll go out via Kilo. We'll cross runway 15 at Kilo all the way for Juliet, holding point to uh, full length runway 19. Is there a release date for this aircraft yet? Uh, sorry, not for this aircraft. For this uh, scenery, for the LaGuardia scenery, it's releasing tomorrow. Releasing tomorrow. At 3 p.m. UTC. What team does Becca support in the Premier League? Yeah, she's an Arsenal fan as well. She has a tattoo, but she's never watched a match. <laughs> I don't think she'd be able to name five players on the squad. She's still an Arsenal fan. <laughs> you would? Go on then, without Googling it. Right now, this second. Without Googling it. Nah, too long she's Googled it. Saka, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the, uh, yeah, there we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> David Seaman. <laughs> what a legend. Yes, absolutely, MTZ. I mean, it was good enough on price anyway, but now the fact that it's on sale for the first ever time is definitely worth it. It's very good. I told you you couldn't name five. Charlie George. Not quite, darling. Not quite. Is Meza Ozil still there in Arsenal? No. Darling, I'm talking about current players. Matt Smith, very good. There was a there was a player at Arsenal called Matt Smith. I'm not talking about people from the 90s, Becca. Come on, that's that's not it. You have failed, failed. No, Meza Özil left years ago. Right, I'm going to get the APU started up because pretty much as soon as those doors are closed, we're going to get ready to go. Hey, Zeus. So we've got Hey, Zeus, Rai, Saka, Odegaard. That's four. But you've been too slow now because you had the opportunity to Google it. Samin Azri. Oh, what a name. I still miss Hector Bayerin. Hey, Chloe, how you doing? Who's another Arsenal player who might not be considered a legend that I still miss? Fabregas. Theo Walcott. Yeah, I miss those guys. You got four without Googling. Yeah, but I was right. I said, I bet you can't name five of the squad without Googling. Ian Wright, yeah, he's a legend. I'm trying to think of players that I miss who aren't like necessarily like Arsenal legend status. To be fair, I think Theo Walcott probably is. And Fabregas might be as well. Right, APU's available. So that's all good. And it's loud as well. Joe Willock. Uh, I didn't rate him at Arsenal. He's done well at Newcastle. I didn't rate him at Arsenal, though. All the Koreans I know are Tottenham fans. Oh, I wonder why. Lucas Podolski. Yeah. Right, that is boarding complete.
Uh, load sheet's also good to go, so let's go and check. So it's 124.3, which is what we've got, and 30.5. So the only thing that we might need to do is just double check what our trim value is. So we'll accept that. Right, that's in. Perfect. So, let's go and stick the beacon light on. We'll go and squat mode Charlie on that sim. Uh, and we'll get ready to go. No, I don't want to interrupt the pushback. Your parents used to have an Arsenal room. Love it. Am I an Arsenal fan? Of course I am. All the best people are. What stand? Oh, we're on stand Delta 4-1. Yago, hello, how you doing? Andre R. Sharvin, goodness me. Nah, traitor, Becca, traitor. Greetings from Munich, how you doing? Departure checks completed. Bypass pin inserted. Inserted. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Push back to position eight. Roger, I'll see if, I don't even know if I've got a GSX profile if I'm totally honest. Where is position eight? Oh, it's there. What, all the way back there? No, that's the wrong airport. I was like, that doesn't look like DCA. <laughs> it's because it's not. I don't know if I've got a profile here, I'll be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know if there is one. I don't know, there probably is. Right, uh, let's go. Uh, DCA traffic, American 1835, uh, 1839, stand Delta 4-1, push and start, spot seven. Of course, on the any manager. Oh, bugger, sorry. Fired, get rid of him, cancel him, cancel culture, get rid of him. Hawaiian 789, ooh, oh, that'll be a nice flight to replicate sometime. Immersion ruined. Unacceptable by Chewy. Unacceptable. Right. Uh, okay. We're good to go. Ignition start. Start number two. Off we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please Sorry, I haven't got a sound pack in. Oh, sorry. I need to mess around more with the uh, with depth of field mode. I know Ian uses it quite a lot, and it looks awesome. Thank God we have a. I know, right? To be fair, I think the pushback is fine. It'll do. Right, avail on number two, starting number one. Unlocking gear. Calls you a plane nerd. Ah, we're all plane nerds, it's part of the fun. You're gonna put your phone down now and read a book. Good night! Sleep well. Have a great first day tomorrow. By the way, everybody chat while Becca goes. Can we all wish her good luck for tomorrow? She's got a nice big day at work tomorrow. So wish her good luck, please. Oh, 
What's up, Lilo? He said Prev. Can't see anything. And hopefully she's seen it. Right. Good luck from the White House. Right, avail on number one. We need that A manager role. There we go. Right, APU bleed off, APU master switch off. There we go. We've given the wave to Gary. Thank you. Go there, that can go there. Flaps all the way to three again. Okay, so LaGuardia, no, DCA traffic, American 1839 taxiing from spot seven to Kilo, crossing runway 15 for Juliet holding point runway 19. Uh, DCA traffic. Hell! Sorry. I've heard of announcing intentions in early, but that was crazy. I mean, yeah, what can you say? Okay, here we go. Has a new Phoenix update? Yeah, so far so good! What does a firefighter do in London? Uh, I don't know, what does a firefighter do in London? Right, I think that's Mac there. Matt, you're welcome to go ahead. Go on, mate, you go. Eat row. Oh my god, that's awful. That doesn't even make sense. Matt, I'm going to go and cross this runway and hold short here. You go first, mate, because you were taxiing first. I will follow up. Unless you want me to go first, but I'm more than happy for you to. Then we can watch your departure. Hello there. Cabin is now secure for takeoff. Cheers, mate. Right, okay. Follow. Raven traffic, Delta 5787, line it up runway 19 for the Dr. 5 departure. <laughs> I love the name of that, Dr. 5. DCA traffic, American 1835 behind the departing Delta 737 by Juliet, lining up runway 19. DCA. Have we checked the doors are closed? Certainly hope so. Yes. Right, just whilst we hold here, we'll go and... Flight control check. Lovely. Good. Stunning. Yeah, it's fine. We're only going up to 21,000 feet. Stick a tinfoil blanket on them. Right, let's do this. So we will give a couple of minutes space in just because we are doing the exact same flight. Give it a bit of a swing. There he goes. See you later, Mac. Wee. Such a clear day. I don't think we've seen a single cloud today, have we? The weather is unreal. Is it actually like this? It says scattered at 25, but I mean, yeah, I don't see a thing. 
Right, so we will go and leave it at least another one minute and ten seconds. And then we're good to go. Turn the sounds up, and I will get ready to pause alerts. Come on, Twitch. Stunning. I'm really looking forward to this flight back. I'm quite apprehensive about the arrival, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, all the lights are good to go there. TARA is good to go there. Brilliant. We will go and uh, give it another 20 seconds. Must have teleported all the weather from Dubai. It's crazy there right now, isn't it? Wild. Chewy, is SIM update 15 on the 30th of April? That's the tentative release date, but that's always subject to change. Do you have live weather on? Yes. Live weather. Do you have any interest in Active Sky when it comes out? I don't know yet. I'm going to have to see what they're actually doing with it first. ECA traffic, American 1835, departing runway 19 on the Doctor 5 departure. ECA. Okay, here we go. Turning up the volumes for you all. Toga, SRS, order thrust blue. wave at the PMDG offices. Hi, Rob. They're not far away from here. Climb, climb. Oh, really, Mac? Okay, autopilot one. Flaps one. Zero. Yeah, hi Rob, can we have the triple seven? <laughs> I missed it. Sorry, if people are telling jokes, that is difficult when I'm taking off. Sorry. Right, ground spoilers can come up. And uh, we're going to 21,000 today, so we're going to stick that in the uh, FCU. Way. There we go. There's the airport. Very nice. Right, speed should come up through 220 knots now. There was a 230 knot restriction at Fimby. Beautiful. It's quite a nice rotation, this one, actually, isn't it? Like 45 minutes, like flight time. It's like, it's enough to feel like you've actually done a proper flight, but, you know, you've not got enough time to hang about. This is the Phoenix A320. Yeah, cockpit racing. So it says in the top in the overlay right at the top of the screen there, my friend. Yes. We are indeed flying the Phoenix. Oh, is that Andrews there? 
Now, the flown in America, especially on Vatsim, is there much difference compared to the EU? Yes, definitely there is, definitely. And there's been some new introductions recently that make it quite different. So, uh, if there's no air traffic control online, when you file a flight plan and log on to Vatsim, they'll instantly be sent a message, a private message from Auto ATC, which will give you a squawk code to put in. You only get that in the US. Um, then... Uh, there's a new thing where you need to monitor CTAF frequencies. So basically CTAF frequencies are like kind of uh, if there's no air traffic control at a particular airport, you would monitor this frequency and call out your intentions on there instead of just doing it on 122.8. So for DCA, it was 119.1. We're outside of that area now, so I'll switch to Unicom. And then it's 1187 in LaGuardia. So we'll go and put that on standby. Um, your clearances are different as well in the USA. They'll usually give quite convoluted IFR clearances when you do speak to ATC. Uh, they won't give you a runway necessarily straight away at the start of your um, clearance. You'll probably get it afterwards. Um, what else is different? Uh, in a lot of places, you don't need a call for pushback. There's loads of stuff. So I best keep to EU then? No, I mean, I think it's well worth going and, you know, going and experiencing the USA, but there definitely are some operational changes to be aware of. Right, we'll get some music on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who is it? Who was it? It's Jeff. God's sake, Jeff. Have you got any tips for flying in the US? I kind of just gave them there with those things there, really. Like, especially on Vatsim. This is awful. Climb via the SID or descend via the star. Yeah. So if you get a descend via the star, you can descend whenever you like, as long as you meet the altitude and speed restrictions on the star. You'll also find some things in the USA where there'll be particular arrivals where it'll say, like, expect it. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't listen to this shit. Sorry, I can't. It's awful. Literally awful. Um. So, like, you might see on a star arrival, you know, like, this is a hard restriction to be rigid at flight level 270. Um... But you might find it sometimes that it will uh, it will say expect Ridgey flight level 270. So, yeah. Now, it's interesting for us because we're coming via the Proud 2 arrival. I'm sorry. Those of you who are moaning, would you rather have Fleetwood Mac or some crap weird song around Star Trek? Sorry, but come on. Let's all apply a bit of common sense here. So, wait, the Proud, sorry, Proud 2 via Speak. Where the hell do we come in then? Oh, via Speak there. So we don't have to worry about Ridgey at 270. The only thing is that we've got the Erka November Oscar VOR above flight level 240, but the real world flight only went to 210, so, yeah. This looks intense. This looks intense. So we roll out on a one mile final. I'm so looking forward to this. I would act. I'm. I feel like I should activate my Toby eye tracker, but I don't know. Oh, look, there's some traffic up ahead. Who's that? That is United 1731. And guess what? They've not filed a flight plan. <laughs> so I would tell you where they're all flying, but I don't know. Is 
Is that the river visual? Are we done the river visual into DCA already? This is what was called the Parkway visual for 3 1 at LaGuardia, but it's now flown as an RNAV X ray procedure. But yeah. Let's just do a bit of this. There we go. Just in case I use it. <laughs> Jayus, that's it, right? Creed, hello, good to see you, mate. Right, so there's flight level 210. Great. And then it's asking us to enter destination data because you've only got 17 nautical miles to the top of the scent. Plane disappeared into thin air. Oh, I've heard that one a million times. I've heard that one a million times. Right, let's go and get some weather. Oh, it's fun. Three zero zero degrees at twelve, gusting nineteen. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lovely crosswind on that turn. Temperatures twenty. Dew point minus three, altimeter three zero zero nine. And then the minima is one one sixty. <laughs> and it's gonna once again be a flaps full order rate medium job. What stand did they go to? Let's just have a quick peek. They went on stand nineteen, which is where we were earlier, I think. So again, we're going to follow the proud to arrival, which will take us from speak. Actually, let's highlight this, shall we? So it's speak. And then we'll follow this and all the restrictions all the way to proud. And then it takes us straight to Pachu for the RNAV X-ray. Uh, if we mess it up, it's a right-hand turn to Greco, climbing 2,000. If we make it in, it's only a 2,135-meter runway. So I imagine we'll probably... Well, I don't know. It depends how quickly we can break. But I, I, there's a good chance that we might even be getting off at Alpha Alpha or Papa. Um, it's not a very long taxi, though. We'll uh, be coming back in towards this area here. So stand 1-9, which is where we actually started today. So if we can get off like Tango and join like in like so, that'll be great. But yeah, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Did I load the flight into Volanta? I did. Oh, nice. No, great. There we go. Perfect. So that's all set in. Uh, I'm just going to go and check how I'm doing with spacing. Now, JFK approaches online. No, JFK departures online, but there's nothing for LaGuardia still. So, yeah, we're fine. Good. We're good with spacing. Perfect. This is a great approach. Yeah, I am. Uh, I've only ever done this once before, and I've never done it in MSFS. So, I am. Uh, I'm apprehensive, but I'm excited. How's the FPS at LaGuardia? Yeah, they were fine. I didn't have uh, I didn't have Drazeki Design Newark or Inibuild JFK activated, but I was getting like 75 FPS. Uh, Wyvern, sorry if I missed that. Evening from Shropshire. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody just coming in. Good to see you all. I think I flew it to LGA when you did the Expressway Visual last year. I mean, I don't even know if my Volanta records got it. Yeah, my Volanta record, it doesn't even exist. So I might have... Uh, I might have not even been using Volanta or anything when we last did it. I've never done it in MSFS and obviously therefore never done it in the Phoenix. So we'll see. Get extended center lines for 0, 4 and 3, 1. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. We could do that as a fix, couldn't we? 
So if I put in here KLGA31, and then if I do a reciprocal runway extension, which is one, yeah, 134. Is that what I'm going to be looking for? I hope I've done that correctly. Yeah, there we are. And I didn't think we're going to need it, but there we go. There's an extended center line. I don't think we really need it. Might be useful, but... I guess I guess we could put one in for the other one as well. To out the runway. So yeah, three one four. And then we've got an extended center line going all the way through. But do you use frame gen? Yeah, of course I use frame generation still. Absolutely I do. Absolutely, I do, mate. When you turn off the AA gates, we'll be right there. Yeah, I mean, it depends on uh, where I turn off. If I turn off. <laughs> Decided to do P3D for a change. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. This murder on... Oh, it is murder on the darts floor. I'll never, I'll never be able to think of Murder on the Dance for again now after watching that uh, Salt Burn film. Weird. Oh, by the way, did you folks see? We've officially uh, had a, the the voting is finished on all of the default and like kind of local legend and thing aircrafts that are in the sim. We've we've finally found the number one. If you've missed it, over on um, Twitter for the last uh, few weeks, we've been running MSFS Madness, which was a 64 plane bracket of basically like all the aircraft, like default aircraft and stuff in the sim. Um, I'm very sad that the 747 lost. But it was close. Uh, the Airbus A320neo lost by 15 votes. So it would have been really interesting to see what the A320neo versus the 747 would have been. But it was the 787 versus the 747 in the final. And uh, yeah, to go through to the final, the 787 beat the A320neo by literally 15 votes. That was it. So the 78710 one. So there you go. You can see the full bracket. I don't know if this link will work. I'll try and send you guys the link. There it is. What did the what did the 787 beat to to get to win? So it be the Where is it? So it first beat the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan. Beechcraft Model 18, a Cirrus SR22, the Antonov AN225, then the A320neo, and then the 747. So the 787 had pretty, pretty stiff competition the entire way through the bracket. 747. Where is the 74? Uh, so it had the Aero Vodka. Vo I can't even say it. Airbus A310, Citation Longitude, Beach Car King Air, and then the TBM 930. So there you go. I'm sad that the 747 didn't win, but yeah. Top of the tent for you, nice. Would love to see me fly the Cessna Caravan. I'm sure I've done it at some point. Yeah, it's pretty cool this, isn't it? Obviously, it's not like third-party stuff. It's just things that are in the sim. And we did have to um, we did have to combine a few. So, like, the citation, like, the longitude and the CJ4 had to be combined because we needed to make it fit in a 64-bracket format. So, we had conversations of, oh, well, which aircraft do we combine? You know, like, the ATR 42 and 72 was quite an easy choice. 
Um, but yeah, we uh, we had to combine just a couple of them. So there you go. Do you think frame gen is useful for non-RTX GPU? Uh, I mean, I, I don't really want to comment on it if I'm too honest with you, because it shouldn't be something that people are really accessing, I don't think. It's not designed for their card. And you run the inherent risk of having more stability issues and things. Just landed the A319 at Heathrow 117. Nice. Very good. You need an RTX GPU for NVIDIA frame gen. Well, uh, can you even can you do it on non RTX? I know there's like that frame gen mod thing. Can you do that frame gen mod thing on non RTX? Because if so, if you can't, then it's irrelevant. AMD's FSR three, yeah. Uh... Right, top of the scent. Down we go. We've been airborne for 19 minutes. I haven't even put an ETA in. So our ETA is about 20.05, everybody. So that's what? 20 minutes. That's nice, actually. We'll finish the stream at about 9 p.m. ish, about quarter past nine. And I can go and have a shower, read my book in bed. Ah, uh, Jimmy, sorry, mate. I'm not going to watch any videos of landings just at the moment, mate. Sorry. Warhawk, hello, buddy. How you doing? Of course, it looks like we've got about 12 miles spacing. We should be fine. Can always slow down early if needed. This looks fun flying into Dubai. Have you seen the... Uh... Oh, really? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Did you see the... Uh, the? Uh, did you see the... Uh... I'll show it really, really quickly. The A380 earlier on that went into Dubai. Uh, have a look at this. You know it's bad when you get to Dubai. Look. So look at the flight log. They're over Dubai... They're at Dubai, and they're literally, like, halfway through the total routing. And then you zoom in, and look at this. What the actual fuck. Excuse my language, but... Look at this that they did. So, there's a turn at 26,000 feet. Down at 24, there's another one. And a left turn. Let's do another turn there. Let's do two left-hand turns. Then let's leave that heading. Then we'll go a little bit further down route. And then we'll do two holds. Right-hand holds. Then we'll... Uh, sorry, three. And they leave the hold. Fly over the top of the airport. Fly away from the airport, then do a 180, well, over a 180 degree turn, almost a 270 degree turn. Then they fly back over the airport again in the opposite direction, out over the coast. Then they turn right, then they turn right again. Then they turn right again to fly over the airport for the third time. Then they continue to go out via the coast. Then they do another right hand turn. Fly back towards the coast. And then, yes, you guessed it. Another right-hand turn. To take them finally on the downwind leg. Then they turn base. And then they come in to land on one, two left. I mean, that is ridiculous. So, how long were they doing this for? So, they made the first turn at 2.34 a.m. UTC. And they landed... Uh, about an hour and 15 minutes later. I was talking to a friend who was, like, trying to calculate the fuel burn. They probably burnt about 15 tons of fuel doing that. An hour and 15 minutes, they probably burnt about 15 tons of fuel. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
Absolutely ridiculous. The flight's supposed to take six hours. It took over seven. So there we go. Uh, right, sorry. I should be on the local pressure, which is 3009. Up. Oh, Zine. Hello, mate. It's a sub. Hey. Zine, thank you so much, mate. It's the first sub in over an hour, and he's back for 66 months. How about that? <laughs> How is about that? Zine, you're an absolute beauty and I love you. Thank you very much indeed for 66 months. That's five and a half years. Just casually as you do, mate. Alright, 1019. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you, Zine. Hope you are well, mate. Hope you're ready for this approach. Ever still 3009. Right, I am going to stop the music there, everybody. And I should really have put the seatbelt signs on by now as well. This is ridiculous. God, these are rivals. We've got 67 miles to run, and I'm going to be at 10,000 feet. Sorry? Freaking American approaches. I swear to God. I, I swear it's like every place I fly to in America, they descend you to like 5,000 feet, 90 miles from landing. It's like constantly going into Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Sorry, there we go. Rant over. Yeah, it, well, do you remember the Coat Hanger 1 approach that we did into JFK? This is called the Spaghetti Junction approach. But yeah, there you go. So Dubai, and there's a video on Twitter and everything of a Fly Dubai 737 literally swimming. Crazy. What livery is it? Yeah, there you go. So we're in November 659 Alpha Whiskey, flying in the A320 today. This is normally operated in an A319. But we're in the Phoenix 320 today. Right, so what should we go down to? <laughs> Let's go down to 3,000 at Pachu, just in managed mode. Because we're, we're now going to sit here at uh, 3,000 feet, I'm pretty sure, for ages. Oh, sorry, at 10,000 feet for ages. Oh, nice, Stu. That's a cat. I just thought I felt something like brush past my leg. It was a cat. Freaking ghost in my studio, chat. More drag. It thinks we're high on profile. Do you know what I say to that? I won't say what I say to that because it's very rude. Right. Atsu. AOC menu. Receive messages. No ADC required. Good there. Happy. Beautiful. So we're actually going to continue descending, but I'm assuming it's just going to descend us on a very, very, very slow rate of descent. Of course there's JFK departures online, but there's nothing at LaGuardia. Right. Okie coke. So we're just going to let the aircraft do its own thing. We've got some lights on below 10. We're chilling. We should be down on the ground in about 15 minutes-ish. Let's just go and check that. Has that changed? No, it's about the same. What's Stu got for us? Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Where's that? Where is that? My brain is frying. I'm not looking at chat. Where is it? Oh, Liverpool. Makes sense now. Now I've got it. Well done, chat. I so rarely fly to Liverpool. I should fly there more often, actually. There's some quite nice routes. It's quite a cool approach and everything. Silly me. Silly me. Anyway, yeah. Uh, 
Hello there, Switch LP. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that, bud. Thank you. Yeah, two now do Liverpool. Yeah, they do. I think they're in Gatwick at the moment as well, or I think that's not lasting forever. Um, beautiful stuff. Right. So we're chilling. Uh, I don't. I've got no idea what this United seventeen thirty one is doing because they've not filed the flight plan. I'm gonna just message them. Dot chat UAL seventeen thirty one. Oh shit. Somebody's logged in with a CH with a freaking Chinook. Interesting. Hopefully they're in for EWR since they're UAL. Yeah, I've just messaged them just to see. No EWR, okay. Yeah, they are EWR. Good, good, good. Will you be getting the Phoenix A319 and 321? Yes, absolutely I will. Absolutely I will. I wonder, with the real world flight, did they just continue descending? Like, how did it work for them? Did they just, like, really slowly descend at a slow descent, eh? Mm. We're just going to steadily keep going down. At 7,000, you should be around 80 miles. Descend a bit faster. No, we're absolutely fine, mate. We've got 39 miles through 7,000 feet. That is bonkers about the moon. A good gate is 30 miles at 10,000 feet. With 3,000 feet below that, with eight more uh, miles to run. We're following the managed descent profile to reach 3,000 feet at the restriction, which has got exactly where it's supposed to be. This is just a ridiculous arrival where you descend very early. It's very common in the USA. So we're on the Proud 2 arrival where you go to Cory. We were at Cory at 10,000 feet with about 58 miles to run. So we're descending at a very shallow descent rate at the moment. I mean, the flight time's still only going to be about, like, 45 minutes, but, yeah. I haven't flown the CFM since the IAEs came out, actually. I should probably give them a fly again soon. So, yeah. 15,000 feet at this range in Oz? God. Yeah, but what's the elevation there at Austin? Birmingham is back open. Oh, good. See you later, Warhawk. Hello there. Hello. Is now Cheers. Thanks, mate. Have a good one. Zeke. Hello, mate. How you doing? It's also an area with a very congested airspace with several... Yeah, it's obviously because of all the airspace and everything like that. Like, if we look at, like, the geography of the area and everything like that, you know, like, Newark is there. So the reason why we're doing what we do... The reason why the approach is what it is is to get us out of the way of Newark stuff and everything. Plus, JFK is uh, is just there as well. So we're kind of slotting in the middle between them. Uh, Zeke, I don't think any of those work. Do exclamation... Well, actually, no. The follow age command works. I don't think root works, though. No. You can actually see we're actually slotting in between some traffic as it is. So look, there's a jet blue... What's this idiot doing? Then there's the uh, United. And then there's uh, Craig and I. I'm going to keep a watch out for this person here. Because they were on the ground, I think, earlier on. And they've not got a flight plan. And they're in a Chinook. So I'm just keeping an eye out. Just in case they're going to be unsavoury.
Yeah, Teterbro and everything as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right, we've only got 24 miles to run, so we're not doing too badly. You can see we're getting close. There's the city again. I don't think that Chinook is a troll. Right, what we are going to do is we're going to activate approach mode once again and we're going to arm approach. App nav. Don't ask me what's going on with the bridge. Let's go and switch to CTAF, which should be 18.7. LaGuardia traffic, American 1839 inbound, uh, proud for the RNP X ray approach from way 3 1. LaGuardia. Beautiful. Oh, you're doing Austin to Gatwick. Nice. Collapse one. Yeah, you'll have to forgive me for not being familiar with a lot of these, uh, a lot of these places. Statue of Liberty over there, alone on its island. Is that Newark there? Yeah, there's Newark there, isn't it? All right, how's that speed doing? I'm getting nervous. Glass, hello, mate. Laps two. <laughs> there you go, Svaney. Nice. What's your FPS? Uh, right now, 74. Right, final lap, go around 2,000. Holy crap, what an approach. I do lock at 60, but I can still see what my FPS is like above that V-Sync lock of 60. Yeah. It will just show us 60 with the V-Sync lock. Bloody hell, what a view. The border traffic down to 5787, short final, runway 3-1. Good luck, Mac. Have a good one. I've slow I'm slowing my speed right the way back. Holy crap, what a view. Right, I'm gonna pause the alerts as well. I'm just reducing to 160 a little bit earlier. Holy moly. See, my, uh, my uh, photogrammetry looks fine now. Right, okay, gear down, flaps three. Oh, look at that. Right, almost crunch time. Wish me luck. Oh, we've got a 165 knot speed restriction. I didn't even see those. That's my bad. Uh, curve, let's do exclamation mark filters if you want my like, NVIDIA filter settings, mate. Look at that. 
Yeah, I'm nervous about the turn on final. I hope I don't mess it up. Everything's paused. Flaps full. Traffic down to 6787, vacating 31 at Romeo. Nice, he's got it. Flat full landing, no blue. Okay, LaGuardia traffic, American 1839 inbound, Daryl. About to turn base for final. Can't have runway uh, blue one. Flight directors in. Oh, there's the uh, stadium. Shit. Hundred above. Minimum. Continue. Touch high. Holy crap, what a view. Five hundred. So we got a crosswind from the right pushing us, so we'll just kind of roll out here. Gets up. <laughs> 100. 50. 40. 20. Retard. Drive. Come on, nose. There we go. Spoilers. Reverse green. Decel. I reckon I can do a much better job of that, you know. 70 knots, minor brakes. 60 knots, forward idle. Definitely think I can do a better job with that turn. But we'll take it. I'm going to aim to take the second left here. We'll take it. There we go. Welcome down, everybody. Beautiful. Not too bad for my first ever attempt in MSFS and in the Phoenix. And when I'm very distracted with how beautiful the sim looks, we'll take it. We'll take it. Got air traffic, American 1839. Clear of runway 31. So we'll continue here and then we'll exit in via Foxtrot or enter in via Foxtrot even. Welcome down, everybody. Well, what a special stream it's been. I certainly was not expecting to do this today. We were going to be doing some stuff around LAX and Vegas and everything today. That was the plan yesterday. And then suddenly uh, we had the new Oslo scenery to check out. And then uh, now we suddenly uh, have uh, this scenery. And I was not expecting to do both the river visual... And the uh, the river visual and the uh, parkway kind of visual today as well. So if we go and take this left and then a right, we should be good. And I will unpause the alerts. Don't think any alerts came through, but they are unpaused now. APU's coming in for us. Everything else up. Uh, 
Yeah, what a lovely problem to have, I know, right? I'm certainly not complaining. Thanks, Mac, for joining us, by the way, mate. Right, there we are, stand 19. APUs avail. Yeah, that visual approach into new looks pretty nice. This one's nicer, though. I reckon I can do that turn better. We had to, like, roll out the wings for a moment and then turn again. I'd like to be able to do that turn in one motion. So we've definitely got some room for improvement on that uh, on that approach. But for my, uh, for my first attempt in many years and my first attempt in MSFS and in the Phoenix, uh, yeah, I'll take it. Right, parking brake set, APU's good to go. Lovely, engine shut down. There we are. Well, oh, the parking's not a bad job either. Yeah, we'll have to do it again, won't we? We will have to do it again. Right, beacon light off, seatbelt sign off, escort mode Charlie. We'll go and request e-boarding. Stick the external power in. Go and take those off. And there we have it. That was thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. At least on my behalf. I hope it was for all of you lovely folks as well. Did that Southwest just go and then reject the takeoff? Oh no, they oh no, they arrived in from DCA, but they didn't communicate on CTAF. So I was no longer concerned. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Add-on init PY is causing a quartal script in the engine to restart. Rev, you've broken it! God damn it, Rev. Broken it. Rev has broken everything. Right, let's go and have a look at uh, GSX memes. I love that emote. Let's go and have a look at Volanta. See how we did. So, there was a Doctor 5 departure out of DCA with a turn right over the top of Edwards Air Force Base. And then our uh, rooting north past Philly. And then on that long approach all the way. And then there's the turn. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I think the number one thing that's important is that I didn't overshoot things, right? I think there was a moment like here where we had to roll out the wings a little bit, but... I mean, I guess that's me just being really pedantic about stuff. It looks okay. Uh, let's have a look. So, hey, we'll take that. Landing rate, 181. G-Force, 1.01. We were a little bit off to the left, but we did have that crosswind pushing us, so I don't think it's too bad. And we were just about still in the touchdown zone. It's not a very long runway, this, so I would have liked to have got it down a bit earlier. But we had a brake medium, and we easily got it off at uh, Bravo here, I think it was. I remember where it was. But uh, without any issues, so nothing to worry about there. And then a nice, easy one to the ramp. Well, how's about that? River visual into DCA. Parkway visual, even though there are MP procedures. Parkway visual into 3-1 at LaGuardia. When I woke up this morning, I certainly can assure you I was not expecting to do both of those today. I really wasn't. We have lucked out to the max. Uh, thank you very much to Mordweller for the follow. Cheers, mate. I appreciate that. Mine didn't want to sit down when the time came here. Yeah. Looks like we all got in safely, though. Beautiful! Right, well, I'll leave GSX, because, yeah, I don't know if it's going to faff or whatever, but we'll leave it as is. And uh, we will finish up there for the day as well, I'm afraid. Sorry I'm not doing any more flying, folks, but we have done two flights. We've done a nice three-hour stream with a fun rotation. Um, let's go, and before we finish... Have a look at the night lighting. Because I know you all love to see it. Oh, yeah. If you get turned by Papa, that is before runway 422 LaGuardia Tower. We're very pleased with that. Yes, we, we turned at the last... Where did we turn? Yeah, we turned at Romeo. We turned at Romeo. And we almost landed outside the touchdown zone. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, here's the, uh, here's the night lighting. For those of you who want to see the night lighting of the scenery as well, we know that's a big important one. It looks... I mean, I feel like night lighting is awesome. Oh, look at that! That's freaking cool! Welcome to New York with the Big Apple. That's very cool. I like that. 
Yeah, runway lighting looks great. No complaints about that. I don't know if there's any leading lights or anything for the runways. Um, but yeah, they've even, I think they've even modeled the uh, stadiums, right? I think they've actually modeled these themselves. I think LaGuardia, sorry, I think MK Studios, yeah, they have, haven't they? And look, they've even got the MK Studios thing on the billboard. How cool is that? I love that. That's really cool. And we got to see it on the approach as well. So there we go. And then if we go and have a look back at LaGuardia, yeah, you can look at it here from a distance. Night lighting is great. No complaints about that. No complaints about that. Go and have a quick look at the terminals and everything. Apron lighting looks nice. You can see the different lighting with the coloured windows in the terminal buildings and everything. I love it. Love it! Well, there we are, folks. Is there a good Teterbro scenery? Because we've now got... There's a White Plains scenery. We've got JFK. We've got Newark. We've got LaGuardia. I think New York is pretty much there, isn't it? Isn't isn't it? There's Teterbro as well. Yeah, I think it's pretty much there. That's very exciting. Tower looks cool as well. Can you go inside the tower? Yeah. Nice. There's a freeware one. How's it FPS-wise? I'm getting 75 FPS right now. I don't have Newark and JFK activated scenery-wise, but, you know, like, I'm running with photogrammetry in 4K and everything, and you can see, like, my LOD settings are quite high and stuff. So, yeah, 75 FPS. So I've got no concerns about scenery here. No concerns about... Uh, sorry, no concerns about uh, performance. Yeah. Terminal A. This is Terminal A here, right? So, yeah, you can go and have a look inside if you want. Go and have a quick look. If you've not seen it earlier on. Nice level of complexity. Not to the same degree of complexity as we saw with the the scenery yesterday. The uh, the Oslo scenery. But, I mean, I'm certainly not complaining about it. It's very, very, very nice. Terminal A is tucked away in the corner. Oh, okay, over on the other side. Cool. Oh, is this Terminal B? Sorry. Go and have a look. Is this it here? Hey, saw 20 months. Hey, buddy, thank you. This is C. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> God damn it. Where's this bloody terminal? Oh, here. Saw, thank you. Well, you are not going to have to wait much longer. Is this it? Because it's coming out tomorrow. It is releasing tomorrow. I'm going to find out where it is. Oh, Terminal A is all the way over here. Ah. Yeah, so this scenery, if you do want to pick it up, it releases tomorrow. 3 p.m. UTC. So I'm expecting to see a lot of you lovely folks giving it uh, giving it a fly tomorrow. Go and replicate that arrival and see if you can do a better job than I did. What am I doing? I'm just clicking random buttons with that, uh, with that uh, approach. There you go. Here's Terminal A. Who the hell operates in and out of here? Looks ancient. Looks cool though. And as you can see, it's all modeled. Spirit. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that says everything. No more questions need to be answered. <laughs> oh dear, poor old spirit. Poor old spirit. I was gonna be doing some spirit ops today. Uh... As I say, around LAX and stuff. But it's been delayed because we've had new sceneries to show off. Got the Hertz rent-a-car. Avis rent-a-car. You've got fuel station everything. They've modeled a lot. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it! We finally got LaGuardia. Yay! <laughs> right. Well, there we go then, folks. Uh, before I finish out for the day, I have to give a huge, 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 huge thanks to my friends at uh, uh, MK Studios for very, very kindly sending across this scenery for me uh, today to show off to you all pre-release. It was certainly kind of them. It was certainly something that they uh, didn't need to do, but it's hugely, hugely, hugely appreciated. It's very rare that I kind of get to do anything exclusive anymore. Um, around my work schedule and stuff. So just having the opportunity to show off something quickly for you all this evening 
Um, it has been a pleasure, and uh, I truly think they've knocked this one out of the park. So, yeah. Um, so this scenery will be available tomorrow. I'm not too sure exactly, like, all the places that it's going to be available. I know MK Studios stuff is usually available on Orbex. Um, I received this scenery via Contrail, so it will definitely be available via Contrail and everything like that. Um, I also don't know if it will be coming to Marketplace at any point in the near future. Obviously, hopefully, certainly, uh, hopefully, certainly think it will be doing so. But yeah, I think they've, uh, I think they've knocked it out of the park once again. You can always kind of rely on MK Studios just being consistent with their sceneries, um, and this scenery is certainly, uh, certainly on that level. Great job by Rev and Michael and the team for doing the uh, the jetways. Um, and everything and uh, all the GSX stuff as well as the jetways, push-pull procedures, all of that stuff that we just kind of know and come to love from those guys. They uh, they do a top job with it as well. So uh, I'm going to finish off for the night um, and we will be back uh, on Thursday. No live stream tomorrow unless something goes wrong and I can't get to badminton. Hopefully I'm getting my car picked up tomorrow. I don't even want to know how much it's going to cost me, but I'll cross that bridge tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so I will uh, I will see you all on Thursday, and then we'll be streaming again on Friday. We didn't make the jetways, you know what I mean? The GSX profile, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, so I'll be back Thursday and then Friday as well. I'm honestly got no idea what I'm going to stream on those two days. I'll make it up then. So I will see you all either Thursday or Friday or both. Uh, have a great one, though, folks. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and your Wednesday as well. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks to MK Studios. Thanks to Mac for flying along. Thanks all of you for the beautiful support today. See you Thursday. Good night. Happy landing.